Montreal Canadiens Hockey on Sportsnet is presented by Rogers. Welcome back to the Bell Center. The Predators have not lost back-to-back -back games all year. It'll be a formidable challenge for Montreal tonight. You're starting at minors in this one. Carter Hutton will get the call for the Nashville Predators. He allowed one goal on 18 shots in his appearance last year. An overtime loss against Montreal at home. Meanwhile, Carey Price, 9-2-1 in his past 12 and back in net tonight. As Mark Schoenhead and John McIsaac are the officials tonight, Shandor Alfonso and Don Henderson work the lines as we get an early whistle eight seconds in. I think a lot of people here in Montreal on pins and needles the last few days wondering if Carey Price was going to be all right. And he talked yesterday and talked this morning and said, we'll see tonight. And so far, so good. Price looks like he's ready to go and not a very serious injury as far as the minor back injury with standing against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Dearnay won the draw away from Mike Ribeiro, and Brendan Gallagher is on it to start it up ice. Feeds it ahead for Dearnay, and it's tipped in. Bouncing puck, Volchenkov had to settle it down. Galchenyuk hustling over, trying to get to it, but it's Ribeiro that slides it across, and the Predators will get it out as Ekholm will move it to center. Gallagher upended on the check from Forsberg, and it is Nashville back on it. Ekholm will look for some open ice. And he'll lift it into the Canadian zone as Subban settles it down. P.K. Subban chased by Colin Wilson. It's fired around and out of play. Well, we talked about Pekka Rene being on the shelf with the injury, and that's going to give an opportunity for Carter Hutton to come in. He played a lot last year, won 20 games for the Predators. So far this year, only one win so far. Rene's got 29 of those 30 wins for the Predators, so this is going to be a test for Carter Hutton with Rene being on the shelf. Off the draw, bouncing puck, James Neal slides it to Shea Weber at the line, trying to get it through, and Nathan Bollier blocked it. Comes out, here's Dale Weiss, has a little room, long set shot on it, and Hutton got the blocker out. But Kenneth will throw it back on goal, and it's picked up by Colin Wilson. Played forward, Mike Fisher trying to go around Bollier, and does, great save made by Price. Mike Fisher with an excellent move to get the shot. Roman Yossi throwing it in front. That hit Wilson and it's poked away. Thomas Blakanitz is back on it. He'll slide it ahead to Dale Weiss. It's in his skates and now he'll dump it into the Nashville zone and the Canadians scramble for a change. Shea Weber back on it for the Predators. First player to captain Nashville for more than four full seasons. Huck comes down the ice, goes through the crease and it is waved off for icing. Price thought it was going to be called as Gilbert will bank it up ahead for Yerji Sekach. Goes through the feet of Jones. Thomas in with speed. Long snapshot, but it's off the stick of Victor Bartley and ends up out of play. Well, a couple early opportunities for both teams and an opportunity for both goaltenders to get comfortable here. Right away, it's the Canadians with Reese. A nice quick shot in stride, and Hutton is up to the task. And then the Predators, it's Mike Fisher who missed most of this season with a ruptured Achilles, comes in. He's a real strong, powerful forward. Gets a backhand, but Price showing he's ready to go as well tonight. Fisher's really come back from that Achilles injury so well. Six game point streak right now, four goals, seven points. And that's a tough injury to come back and get all your timing back and strength. And confidence really is the biggest thing when you come off that injury. Yoking it, throwing it back in. Born of Al is there, knocked it away. Brandon Prust will throw it out at center. And Ole Jokinen will dump it right back in the Canadian zone. Gilbert going after it. Emelin banks it up ahead. And Manny Moholtra deflects it for Brandon Prust. Here's Prust trying to get around Victor Bartley. Taken into the end boards. Manny Moholtra follows up with a play. Drops it to Markov with a shot. That got tipped away. Jones will bat it up the boards. Jokinen is there, handing it off, and it gets deflected out. Now here's Matt Cullen with it. Cullen waiting for a little help. Throws it on net. Price will block it. And he'll cover it up and allow no rebound. When you talk about the Nashville Predators, the first thing that comes to your mind is Pekka Rene. He's the identity of his team. Now it's going to be the Carter Hutton show. He, along with Merrick Mazinets, they're going to get a chance to get in and play some games. For Rene, he's probably going to be out for three to five weeks with that sprained knee. So this is going to be a big test for both these young goaltenders. Mike Ribeiro out there against Dearnay. Gallagher sent it over to Markov. Now it's Galchenyuk up with it. 
Dangerous pass up the middle, but it got to Markov, and he'll feed it back to Galchenyuk, streaking in, hands it off, Gallagher with a shot, and that is deflected out of play. It's a nice puck movement by the Canadians on the rush, and that's one thing the National Predators, when I spoke to Shea Weber this morning, he said the Canadians are great in the transition game. It all starts with their defense. Markov moves it up to Galchenyuk, cross-ice pass, finds Gallagher in stride. Good stick by the Predators to make sure that puck goes out of play. Galchenyuk comes in to help out off the draw. Forsberg watching him. Tried to slip it over to Markov, but it's off the skate of Forsberg and back to the Canadian zone. Andre Markov ahead for Gallagher. Pass got by him. Icing waved off as Pacioretty will win the race. Tried to deflect it past Ekholm, and it's brought back up ice by Ribeiro. Handing it off for Craig Smith. Smith held up at center by Markov. Ribeiro trying to reach it. Tipped away, and Dale Weiss has got it. Weiss for Plakanitz. Knocked it down. Goes to the net, but couldn't get the puck back. Weiss trying to throw it in front. That's taken away by Nashville as Weiss goes after Ekholm with a check, and the puck comes back to Gonchar. Sergey Gonchar, long pass for Thomas Plakanitz. He'll deflect it in. Carter Hutton leaves it for Shea Weber. He'll reverse it. Roman Yossi up for Bork. Long feed across. Here's Cullen cutting in. Checks up with a shot and Price throughout the lane. Nathan Bullion trying to deflect it past Weber. He's pinching in and comes up with it. Hands it off. And a chance there for Yarncroke, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Cullen's got it back now. Matt Cullen with it. Trying to get away from Sergey Gonchar. Gonchar will knock him down. Gabriel Bork comes up with it. Hands it across for Roman Yossi. Yossi down low. Escapes Pacioretty. Looks for an outlet pass. He'll feed it across for Yarncroke. Giving it back to Matt Cullen. Cullen trying to center. Picked up by Gonchar. Weber at the line will keep it in. He'll fire. Tipped in front. Bouncing puck. And Dale Weiss will clear it out of trouble. Weiss floats it over to Nathan Bollier, and the Canadians will try to exit the zone while the Predators are on a line change. Here's Yossi with it. Pass back up intended for Fisher. Broken up by Sakach. Eller over to Yimchi Sakach in with a shot. Hutton the save with a rebound in front. He'll get the glove on it and cover it up. A nice job by Yerji Sakach and the Montreal Canadiens in the neutral zone. Reading what the Nashville Predators defense are trying to do here. They get the turnover. Eller kicks it out to Sakach. I like the play there. Just get it on net. You got a goaltender who hasn't played much this season. Throw it at net and hope for a rebound to the high slot. Good smart play by Yerji Sakach. Off the draw. Seth Jones will wrap it around the boards. Neal can't get it out. Eller trying to play it back for Sakach. It's off a stick. Victor Bartley there to check him. Jones coming in to play it. Lars Eller hands it off for Thomas. Knocked down to the ice by Victor Bartley. Broken stick on the play as well. Thomas trying to hold it on the boards. Markov will come in with it. Back for Thomas. Thomas centering in front. Eller can't get to it. Here's Subban. Back for Lars Eller. Handing it off. Yebji Sekach checked to the boards by Fisher. Eller got it across. Up in the air. Batted down. And that puck will come out as Thomas is there. Knocking it back to the Predator zone. Seth Jones backing up with it. Jones has logged 20 minutes or more in the past five games as Peter Laviolette puts a little more trust in the youngster on the blue line. Brandon Price had to go off his stick. Chance for Nashville. Jokin in with a shot kicked out by Price. Gostad was right on the doorstep. Here's Weber with it. Feeding it across for Yossi. Throwing it on goal and Price saw through traffic and he's able to hang on. Michelle Terrian's got to be pleased where the Montreal Canadiens sit right now, heading into the All-Star break, currently fourth in the Eastern Conference, but they got a couple games in hand on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sorry, three games in hand and a couple games in hand on the Islanders in Detroit, so the Canadiens, Michelle Terrian, have positioned themselves very well here, heading into the All-Star break. Now Manny Malhotra wins the draw, and it's left back for Nathan Bullion. Malhotra chips it into the Predator zone. He'll go after it. Anton Volchenkov reaching in with a stick. Knocked it up on the wing for Philip Forsberg. Turned over, though. That hit the skate of the official Mark Jonet, and now Smith has got it. Here's Smith playing it into the corner. 
Conchar going after it. He gets checked. Smith trying to poke it away. Comes back around for Forsberg. Handing it off and thrown to the line by Ribeiro. Volchenkov back down for Smith. Gonchar on him. Smith got free. Forsberg with a shot. Kicked out by Price. Waiting back in the net is Ribeiro. Sends it back to Volchenkov. Across and a shot is blocked in front by Dearnay. And Galchenyuk's got it as he tries to get by Ekholm. But Ekholm stops the bucket center. Ribeiro at the line. Stays on side as he accepts that pass and slides it in deep. Yemelin trying to get away from Smith. Moves it to Prost. Across for Nathan Bullion. Lead pass ahead for Mikel Bonaval. Bonaval blocked at the line. He's got to turn back. And Yemelin's on it again. Good pace to start this game. Nashville leading in the shots on goal department. 8-3. to three. Shea Weber moves it up ahead. And it's deflected in by Paul Gostad. Tom Gilbert wrapped it around the boards. Maholtra off for Prost. And Gilbert on the rush with it. Here comes Gilbert. Backhands it in as Carter Hutton comes out of the net. And he'll feed it over to Jones. Play back up for Gostick. Knocked down on Jokinen's on it. He'll dump it in. Price slowed it down with his stick. Gilbert goes after it. Tied up the stick of Ole Jokinen. And that will allow Alexei Yemelin to come up with a puck. But Jones blocked the clearing attempt. Now Yemelin takes the hit from Fisher. Rolled it down the ice. That will end up being an icing call against Montreal. Talked about the Montreal Canadiens and where they sit heading into the All-Star break. Peter Laviolette has done a tremendous job so far with the National Predators. It seems like he's the tonic that they were missing. Barry Trotz did a tremendous job building a foundation of hard work and defensive play. Laviolette's brought that offensive touch and talking to a lot of the Predators players this morning, they've been pleased with his ability to motivate. He just has, according to Mike Fisher, some of the best pregame speeches he's ever heard. Drive from the line, throw it on that chip back up in the air. Price got it in the shoulder, got the glove on it, and he hangs on on a dangerous play. A quick pace to start this one, but we're scoreless at the Bell Center. You're watching Canadians Hockey on Sportsnet, presented by Rogers. I mentioned the National Predators, always noted as a defensive type team. They've had great structure for so many years. Since Peter Laviolette has come to town, though, they've added that offensive element. And now one of the more dangerous teams in the NHL and watching the game so far, they just throw pucks at the net and talking to Laviolette this morning, that's what he wants, shoot and shoot off, and especially when you're a goal against a goaltender like Carey Price, you have to get as much rubber as you can to the net, and that's what Nashville has tried to do so far tonight. They're great at hitting the net, and look at that, two, three Predators all rummaging around the front of the net looking for scraps around Carey Price. Look, Hennets. Well, lifted up in the air, knocked down by Pacioretty, and he'll bat it into the Nashville zone. Roman Yossi going after it. Dale Weiss tracks in on him and then sends him into the corner. B.K. Subban knocks it down, throws a rolling puck in front, but it's kicked away. Markov for Weiss, trying to go back to Pacioretty. A little pass to Markov, he'll snap it on net, steered away by Hutton. Dale Weiss trying to move it in the corner. Cleared to the line, Subban kept it in, over to Markov with the shot, right on, and Hutton saw it all the way, and he'll hang on. Nice job by P.K. Subban, keeping that bouncing puck in at the blue line. Always difficult when you're a defenseman, and you got that puck, seems to have a mind of its own, and able to settle it down, get it over to his partner, and the Canadians getting some pucks on that as well here early on. Subban with two goals in the past three games. These are the types of plays I used to hate it. You're back there, the puck's in your skate, and you look at Subek, cool as a cucumber back there, and makes a play with his skate and slides it over to his partner. Markov with six assists in the past four, so those two have picked it up on the pairing. As Yemelin blocks this one in front of the Nashville bench, and the Predators reset. Seth Jones hands it off for Victor Bartley. Now back for Jones. Being pressured by Gallagher, goes back to Bartley. Now deflected in the Canadians end. Gilbert will go after it as Price will leave it there for him. Tom Gilbert chips it up on the wing. Gallagher knocked it out. Dearnay across for Galchenyuk. That was just in behind him. A few feet in front and Galchenyuk's off to the races there. Nathan Bollier finds a little open ice. Tried to get it up for Gallagher. Cullen steps up on the play. And Yarncrook will get it back for Nashville lifting it into the corner. Let's say Emily. Flushed out by Smith. Has to play it for Bolger. Up around to Lars Eller. Eller hands it off for Sekac. And the energy Sekac had to try to handle that puck in his skate through center ice. 
Forsberg will jump on it. Hands it across to Ribeiro. Trying to center it back for Smith. Eller got in the way. Now it's thrown on goal by Smith, but it's off the outside of the net. Here's Forsberg. Will Smith through his skates. Gonchar's there. Turned it over to Ribeiro. Comes at the line. Jones can't get to it. The catch was in his way as Eller will chop the puck out and back down the ice. Mike Ribeiro hands it off for Seth Jones. Up the boards. Forsberg got a piece of it with his skate. Lars Eller comes in to help out. Forsberg is there. Pulls up a leg and now back for Bullion. Past the midway mark of the first. Scoreless game, 9-4. The shot's in favor of Nashville. Here's Heller up for Bonneville, and he couldn't reach it. And Bonneville misses the puck in the Predators zone, and Nashville gets it back. Seth Jones, pass ahead off the foot of Fisher. Subban will curl in his own end, hits the brakes now to get a little room, and sends a long pass up for Plakenitz. And Volchenkov got in the way as it rolls to Carter Hutton, and he will hold on. Has the midway mark of the game, and worst goal is you're watching Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet, presented by Rogers. Welcome back to the Bell Centre in Montreal. Heading into the All-Star break, a lot of people thought Carey Price might take tonight to rest up after suffering an upper body injury in Columbus last Wednesday. And no one would have blamed the netminder if he took a pass on the All-Star game to rest up until he got back to 100%. But Price said today that, well, a few days off would be nice. It's an honour to be chosen to lace up with some of the league's best players. So if he's healthy, there's no question what he'd rather do. He also mentioned his wife Angela and dad Jerry are both pretty pumped about making the trip to come watch. And Price even had a little advice for rookie Yerji Sekat, who was all set to go on a trip with friends when he got the late call to take part in the All-Star festivities. Price told him at the end of the day, these opportunities don't come around very often, so when they do, you make the most of them. John? Well, indeed, and he mentioned a couple friends from Cleveland that were going to come, and it's not often that you get an All-Star game close to Cleveland, I guess. So to, you'd be able to tie that in at Columbus, and fantastic setup it's going to be there in Ohio. And who could say no to a trip to Cleveland, John? <laughs> Well, if you're a music fan, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you yeah, got absolutely. The, the Browns, you got the Lake Erie Monsters there. Their goalies even score goals in that uh, team. You're all set. <laughs> got the Indians, you got the Cavaliers, LeBron. <laughs> Here's Weber. Losing it. De Arne got it back for Gilbert. And the shot is thrown off into the corner. Nystrom will deflect it back into the Canadians' end. You know we have viewers in Cleveland. Have to watch Canadian hockey and watch it right now on the NHL center ice package. So, one of our good men, Hopper, down there watching. Hello to you tonight. Takes care of all the visiting teams that come in for the Lake Erie Monsters. As Gilbert will clear it down the ice. This will be an icing call against Montreal, and they'll bring it back down. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. We've got four of the best defensemen in the game. And here's PK Subban. Look at the escape move here. Most defense will just take that puck make the safe play, not Subay, spins back, escapes, wait, and watch this long, almost a long bomb type football pass. That's about a 125 foot pass he makes. Beautiful play, but I love the patience by P.K. Subay, waiting to make a big time play there. Puck held in at the line by Yossi, and he takes a check from Weiss in front of the Montreal bench. Now Smith trying to play. Forsberg there as well, Plakenitz will tip it away. Fired around the glass, Yossi on the rolling puck, settles it down, got it on net. Smith nearly got a piece of that on a redirect, but Price snags it. As the Predators continue just to throw pucks at the net, and that's what good teams do. You don't, you don't pass up opportunities to shoot the puck, and Roman Yossi, who I mentioned fifth in the NHL and time on ice, also block shots as well. He's in the top five, and he's a young man. Not many people know about around the NHL, but you talk to his teammates, and... They were singing his praises tomorrow at the this morning at the Nashville pregame skate. He's been exceptional. And Peter Laviolette also a big fan of Roman Yossi. Al Holtra won the draw as he'll feed it back for Subban. Lifting it high in the air. That'll skip out at center. Ekholm has to be careful with it and now backs up with Lars Eller watching him. Ekholm feeds it ahead off the stick of Sakach, but it comes to Fisher. Fisher trying to get around Subban. Slides it back up the boards, and Sakach got to it. Eller is rocked by Fisher. At the line, Sakach got it in. Eller tees it up, and it's blocked by Volchenkov. Volchenkov around the boards. Wilson trying to tip it out. Thomas 
Back for Eller, and it hopped over his stick. Volchenkov is on it. Volchenkov checked by Eller, and then shook him up. Volchenkov slow to get to his feet. He's hobbling here in front of the Nashville net. Eller trying to center, picked off by Volchenkov. He'll get it up off the glass, down the ice. This will be an icing call against Nashville, and we'll see if Volchenkov is okay to stay out here. Uh, Volchenkov a little hobbled on that play, and he's had a tough time battling injuries. And earlier on in the neutral zone here, Lars Eller takes a big hit from Mike Fisher on the boards, and Fisher who missed 23 games with a ruptured Achilles so far. He's back and looking very physical for the Predators tonight, but good play by Eller to make sure that puck gets deep, and you get a hit, you dust yourself off, and you get back to work. Bonneval feeds it to Gonchar. Back for Bonneval. His shot is blocked by Fisher, and it's cleared out by Wilson down the ice, but he looks to the rafters right away knowing he put too much mustard on that, and that'll be another icing call. Pace slowing down a little bit here off to a pretty quick start here that's the thing when you when you see teams and you usually wouldn't identify the Nashville Predators with being one of those quick start teams that high-flying offense like to move the puck but you watch their D that's the key to their success when you heck of Rene Rene is one you'd always talk about it for the defense slow that gets that quick transition game going puck skips ahead here's Wilson with it Wilson trying to cut in knocked away by Gonchar Sergey Gonchar Finds a little room on it. Then Nathan Bolia. He'll fire it back in. Brandon Press going after it. Press rocked along the boards. Portaval trying to get to it. Got it off for Manny Maholtra. Maholtra to Brandon Prust. Prust will feed it to Bolia. Handing it off. Gunshot with a drive. Just missed. Prust back of the net going after it again. Brandon Prust for Gonchar and it hopped over his stick. Now Price comes well out of the net and he's forced to play it as Matt Cullen was hustling in. Now Holtra got it up to Bordeval and the pass across for Prust at the line doesn't time out. That's an offside. I mentioned Shea Weber earlier and his partner Roman Yossi and they're, they're one of the top pairings in the, in the NHL so far as far as defensemen going along with Andre Markov and P.K. Subban. Similar type defensemen, obviously Weber a big strong guy, but all four defensemen log a lot of minutes and they're both big point producers, all four defensemen so far able to uh, have that extra support from the attack and Subban with 10 goals so far is off to a great start offensively. Weber feeds it across for Yossi chipping it in Smith backhand pass across for Ribeiro slides it to Weber with a shot stopped by Price loose puck and it bounced over the stick of Forsberg. Gallagher back the other way trying to find a little room in on the wing stops into the corner. Brendan Gallagher handing it off for Galchenyuk. Alex Galchenyuk Trying to escape Forsberg and does. Slides it up for Dearnay. Dearnay looking around. Leaves it back down low. Gallagher after it again. Trying to hold off. Yossi got knocked down. Threw it in front, but it comes right to Craig Smith. Smith takes his time. He'll dump it in. Vice out of the net. Played it up off the glass. That puck got by Ribeiro, but Weber's there to shoot it back in. It came up high and hit Markov and knocked him down. As that puck caught him in the face, and Markov is going to head to the bench for a little attention. Markov looks to be a little shake, shaken up here as he heads to the bench. And, and Markov will get a hand, and we'll step aside with Canadian Hockey on Sports. We talked about the top defensive pairings in the NHL this season. Mark Giordano having a standout year along with his partner Brody. We also have a couple other of those pairings in, in tonight with Weber and Yossi, and we thought we might have lost Andre Markov there after taking a puck to the chops there. It was actually Shea Weber throwing off the glass, hit Markov right in the mouth, but he's not even going to miss a shift because he's right back out there right now. Luckily for Markov, it wasn't a Shea Weber slap shot. Yeah, it was more of a puck just wristed into the zone. We all know how hard Shea Weber shoots that puck. Up around 108 miles an hour. Here's Weber trying to cut off Pacioretty and does. Works it up for Wilson. Throw it out at center. Markov is back there on it and he'll bounce it into the Predators zone. Weber to James Neal. Had to get away from Weiss quickly and Markov will settle it down. Hands it off for Plakanitz. Over to Pacioretty and dump back in. Weber goes after it. Plakanitz knocks it down. Throws it up high. Subban fires and he missed the top corner. Markov is on it. Went to dump it in for Weiss, but it caught the boards with his Zamboni comes out and kicks back for the Predators as Fisher will lift it in. 
Price hands it up for Subban. Long pass in the air to Pacioretty. Hopped over his stick. Jones will feed Jokinen. And he put it too far ahead for Fisher. Subban to Markov. Back for Eller. Over to Markov and Subban on it again as Thomas will deflect it in. Lars Eller hustling after it. Trying to get away from Jones. Paul Costa had to wrap it around the boards. Broken up by Yevgeny Sekac. Here's Sekac spinning away from Gostad. Goes for Yemelin. Across to Gilbert. Traffic in front. Gilbert throws it down low for Thomas. Eller comes in to help out. Got away from Jones. Gilbert back to the corner for Thomas. Victor Bartley on top of him. Eller there to help out again, but it's Nystrom that is on it. Pressured immediately by Thomas. The puck comes out. And Eller now fighting for it with Nystrom in front of the Nashville bench. Sakac dug it out of the pile and gave it back for Yemelit. Alexei Yemelit brings it in as Hutton lets it go. Nystrom high in the air. Batted down by Brandon Prust. Prust lost it through his feet. Gabriel Bork is on it. Hit by Yemelin and brought back in by Cullen. Matt Cullen being watched by Nathan Bull here. Bork in there to help out as well. Chip down low. Yonkroak comes up with it. Hangs on, takes the shot, blocked in front by Malhotra, and it's swooped up by Bork. Throws it down low, Nathan Bullier got him away there, and he'll chip it up in the air, and that puck makes it back to center. Andy Malhotra takes his time, he'll flip it in deep, the Canadians go for the change. Volchenkov back on it for Nashville. Hands it across to Ekholm, and that puck is deflected in. Nathan Bolia hustling after it. Mike Ribeiro in on him. Ribeiro trying to hold it. Gallagher dug it free. Got it to Galchenyuk. He's got the Arnaid. Two on two. Gallagher joining the rush. Gets the pass and can't drop it back for Gonchar. Nashville the other way now with a chance. Here's Ribeiro. Weber going to the net. Pass over to Weber and a great play by Galchenyuk as he got his stick out in the way to deflect that pass away. Tremendous back check from Alex Galchenyuk to break that play up. Roman Yossi fires. Stopped by Price. He's got it. And he'll hold on. Some great back and forth action with the Canadians and the Predators. Catch Montreal here. It's the turnover happens high in the zone and off to the races go the Predators. Mike Ribeiro waits, waits, waits. But that gives Alex Galchenyuk a chance to come back and break up that play. And earlier, Andre Markov, after getting that Weber shot in the face, Price a little chuckle says, how's the face, Andre? And Andre, a man, a few words, I'm okay. Vulcanized rubber, tastes good. <laughs> There's Neal up with it. Throws it wide of the net. Hustling in after it is Echo. Trying to get it down low for Fisher. Markov got in the way. He'll play it ahead. Plakanitz up to Pacioretty. Trying to get by Jones, but he was reaching back for that rolling puck, and Jones batted it away. And now a hand pass called against the Canadians. Looked like Max Pacioretty might be able to get a step there, but young Seth Jones. Did a nice job stepping up on Pacioretty, who has, hasn't had a lot of room to operate so far in this first period. It's been a lot of the Nashville Thunders just continuing to get pucks on the net. And for the Canadians, they're going to have to start getting some more pucks of their own on the net. But only four shots so far on Carter Hutton. Here's Steph Jones up with it. Throws it on net. Price will stop it. Slides it over to Gilbert. Into the skates of Yemelin. Tied up with Jokinen. Eller comes in to help out. Now it is Eller. That'll flip it out. Thomas trying to catch up to it. That is batted away out of the air by Ekholm, and that will be a hand pass called against Nashville. And Matthias Ekholm has been a nice surprise for the Nashville Predators this season. I'm talking with Shea Weber this morning. He said he's been arguably their most improved player. And another one of those players you just don't hear that much about. And all of a sudden you look at the Predators, second place overall in the NHL, and Ekholm a big reason why. Shea Weber plays it ahead for Jokinen. He'll deflect it down to the Canadian zone. Dayarne going after it. Drops it back for Markov. Around to Galchenya. Trying to tip it by Weber. Puck comes free. Jokinen on the backhand will send it down low, but Markov gets in the way. As Subban got it out, Jokinen picks it off. Throws it back in. Price will stop it. Wanted to play it, but instead will cover it up. Gary Price is so good with that puck. He likes, he's almost like the third defenseman back there. He's able to make those types of saves and play the puck so quickly. 
that time, though, he's he's very good at recognizing the situation. He sees there's two Predators coming in and decides just to, you know, let's just hold on here and wait for a face-up. One of the more underrated puck handlers as far as goaltenders go around the NHL. Boy, can it set there against Cullen? And it comes for Bullia. Sends it around. Patch ready to flex it out by Jones. Dale Weiss hustling after it. Jones is there as he'll feed it across for Ekholm. Ekholm up the head. John Croke will dump it in. Nathan Bolia comes up with it as he'll hand it across to Pacioretty. Tried to feed it up the middle. Cullen got his stick in the way. Jones on it. Spins. Bolia steps up on the play. Nearly got it back up to Pacioretty. Predators send it back in deep. Cullen handing it off for Hork as Price has lost his stick here and it's stuck behind the net. Jan Crook will play it around for Cullen. Cullen breaking free, throws it out front and a chance for Jan Crook and the high slot is off a stick and out of play. Great job by Max Pacioretty collapsing in the high slot and that was going to, going to be a dangerous chance for the Predators but Pacioretty, he's, he's been a much improved defensive player for the Canadians so far this year. Plus 22, which is among the leaders in NHL. This is the reason why. Look at his defensive awareness. Sees the open Yaren Croak in the high slot and just gets his stick in the way because if that shot gets through, that's an ideal scoring chance and probably a juicy rebound as well. Sakach trying to tip it away. Subban knocked it down. Mal Holtra around the boards for Sakach and he'll clear it down the ice. Yossi's going to go back after it and that will be waved off as Roman Yossi is on the puck. Ten seconds to go in the period. Waiting back in the net. Lars Eller there watching him. They're going to run the clock out. Yossi's going to hang on. Hutton's leaning on the post. He's ready to end the period, and it comes to a close. A lot of shots on goal for the Predators. 14 shots to four for the Canadians. Much of those shots coming from the outside with Price having an opportunity to see most of them. So 18 total shots in the period. Nashville has the majority of them, but we are scoreless after 20. Canada Vodka coming up with a Sportsnet Central update when we return to Canadians Hockey on Sports. Welcome back to the Bell Center. No score after the first period. Joined live now by Arvin Basu of NHL.com. And Arvin, Coach Michelle Terry has not been shy about switching up the line so far this year. So much so that Max Pacioretty and Brendan Gallagher have started to have a little wager on whether the coach would change up the line for the next day in practice. Now, is this uncommon? Do the Habs do this more than the other teams? Well, I, don't, I think every team has a certain measure of line juggling. But one thing that most teams do have is that they sort of have an anchor, at least pair of forwards that they can go to um, on a regular basis. You know, you look at some, you know, the Anaheim Ducks are a great example. Ryan Getzlaff, Corey Perry. The player, the third player on that line often shuffles, but those two guys are a constant. The Canadians simply don't have that. I mean, Max Pacioretty is easily their best forward, except he hasn't had a regular line mate pretty much all year. Here you look at the eight teams who are positioned for the playoffs in the Eastern Conference coming into tonight, and you see most of the teams, Max Pacioretty, his most common line mate this season is David Dernay. He's played just about 60% of his minutes with him this year. And the three guys below him, they all have an asterisk there. Sidney Crosby, Kiss Knutz was injured for most of the year. And Steven Stamkos is arguably not even the top center on his line. Tyler Johnson has more points than him. So really, Max Pacioretty, I think, needs a solid, at least one line mate to kind of anchor the Canadians forward in their attack. Well, Max Pacioretty leading the team in points. He's really the only constant on that top line. Yeah. Do other teams have this problem? Well, yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, we see that happen on some teams, but I think they're really elite teams. They're able to find a pairing that they can rely on for offense on a regular basis, and the Canadians haven't found that as far as Pacioretty is concerned. And finally, Kara Price versus Pecorino. I both sort of banged up lately. Um, well, Pecorino has been banged up, but I mean, there is there is a real battle going on between these two goalies for the best in the trophy this year. A lot of people are giving the nod to Rene, which is fair because his numbers are better, but if you look at the teams in front of Rene and in front of Price, there is an argument to be made for Carey Price. If you look at the National Predators numbers, CF percentage is relating to their, their Corsi percentage, which is their possession. Shot percentage is how many shots they get in a game, and you see that the Predators are ahead of Canadians in both regards. Carey Price spends a lot more time with the puck in his zone than Pekka Rene, and his numbers are pretty close to what Pecorini does considering the heavy workload that Price has. So I think that he is right in the argument for the Vezina Trophy by the end of the season. Thanks, Arvin. Arvin Basu from NHL.com. Now for more on this game, let's send it up to the booth with John and Jason.
Thanks very much, guys. Great job on that, uh, you know, because that's sort of the balance between hockey analytics right now and, and the numbers and what they tell and the story that tells. But I'll tell you what number in the first period stood out to me. Four shots on net, and that belonged to Roman Yossi, and he was outstanding in the opening 20 for the Nashville Predators. He, he really was, and we talked about him a lot leading up to the game because he's one of those off-the-radar type players that nobody really talks about, and it seems the Nashville Predators are filled with these types of players. This is the thing what the National Predators do. They get pucks and they possess the puck and they get the puck to the net. Yossi doing a nice job of protecting the puck, trying to get some time and space, and then just doing a nice job. Get the puck on your stick, wrist it towards the net, and the more shots you get, the better chance you have of going in. And when you face an elite goaltender like a Carey Price, that's the key. You have to get shots on goal if you're the National Predators. Now the Montreal Canadiens need some shots here in the second period as well. And, and like you mentioned though, Nashville not afraid to shoot the puck from anywhere. They have confidence that they can throw it on net and make things and happen. They, and they hit the net too. That, that's the key. You, you can attempt as many shots as you want, but you have to get pucks to the net. And that's tough in today's NHL. Everybody now is a shot blocker. Guys have to do it. You have to buy in and do it. But for the Canadians, they do need to do a better job in the second period here of trying to get more pucks towards the net. Carter Hutton is an unproven goaltender. He only has one win so far this season. The main man is Pekka Rene, but he's not playing tonight. So for the Canadians, they have to get more pucks to the net. And a couple of the Canadian shots were from a long ways out. So you have to think that's something they're talking about in the dressing room going into the second period. Let's get pucks on net from anywhere. Let's take Nashville's a chance. But Carey Price coming back tonight after that injury against Columbus, and he looked sharp in the first period. And, of course, as he said, he got a lot of work, too. He got a lot of rubber thrown his way early and often in this game. And for Price, he's looked very comfortable in there. And luckily for the Canadians, it wasn't a major injury. He only missed the one game due to injury. Didn't play two, but was only injured for one. But tonight, he looks like he's back to 100%. We weren't sure leading up right till game time if he was going to play. But tonight, he's in there. He looks comfortable. As you look at the stats so far, we mentioned the shots. 14 on goal for the Predators. The hits favor the Predators as well. Block shots pretty even. The face-offs. As suspected, the Canadians, who continue to be one of the hottest teams in the NHL as far as winning faceoffs go. Well, of course, when you have Manny Malhotra, you're always in good shape there. 71% in the draw was Malhotra in the first period, but not the best percentage wise. Paul Godstad was a perfect 100% in the first period, 4 0. And Godstad's had some great numbers in the draw. Six in NHL faceoff percentage coming into the game tonight at 56.3%. I remember when the Predators went out and traded for Gostad at the deadline, and I think it was in 2013. Don't quote me on that, but the reason they traded for him was because he can win draws, and he's noted around the league, much like him, a Holtra, as being a guy that can snap draws back for him. He's six foot five. He's a big guy, and it's funny down at the skate this morning, everybody wanted to talk to Shea Weber and, and, and Mike Fisher and and, and young Philip Forsberg, all of a sudden, Paul Goss said, anybody want to talk to a face-off specialist? So he got a good chuckle this morning. But those guys are essential. You, you have to have guys that could win draws for you, especially if you're a puck possession team like the Predators and like the Canadians are. Well, Gostad has finished in the top 10 in NHL face-offs for the past four years. So really, that's another head-to-head -head battle we have here tonight in the numbers between Gostad and Manny Malhotra. But here's Subban up with the puck to start period number two, and the dump-in was blocked. Andre Markov back on it. Banks it off the boards. Galchenyuk will turn back in his own zone. Handing it out for P.K. Subban. Markov feeding it ahead. Subban trying to poke it forward, but that got blocked, and it's brought back in by Smith. Smith dumps it down low. Forsberg trying to throw it on net. Here's Forsberg hanging on to it. Goes to the line, kept in by Volchenkov. Taken away by Dearnay. David Dearnay up to Brendan Gallagher. Gallagher in with a shot, and that one's high over the net. Volchenkov will swing it around, and there to get it is Ekholm. Ekholm will dump it back in. Price played it around. Nathan Bolia will let it go as Pacioretty's there to take it. Flips it through center as Nashville was in the middle of a line change. Yossi ahead for Wilson. Neal stretched the leg, tried to stay on side Wilson. Had the good presence of mind to hang on, didn't go in the zone, and now when he finally does, Neil went back in, it's an offside. Well, we mentioned Roman Yossi, an under-the-radar player. One player that many people around the league are talking about so far is Philip Forsberg, the former first-rounder of the Washington Capitals, leads all rookies in, in points so far this year with 39 points, as well as an astonishing 
plus 23, which is unbelievable if you're a rookie to have a plus minus at plus 23. Here's Fisher with a chance blocked by Price, and Placanitz is there for the puck. Played it off the corner, and again, the puck takes a weird hop in that Zamboni corner. This time it was up on the glass. Here's Weiss chasing it down to the Predator zone. Weber trying to play, but it's back to the corner for Dale Weiss. Up to Nathan Polia, fires the rolling puck, and that missed. Colin Wilson back the other way. Wilson centering pass to Neal, and Price got a piece of that with a glove. I think Price, he luckily just got a piece of that because that was labeled, I believe, for the top corner. Turnover, Wilson in front, shot, Price the same rebound, and he comes up with a second stop off Neal. And then Neal runs Weiss into the boards. Puck comes free, Victor Bartley shoots, and that got blocked. Gonchar is there, he'll fire it around, Pacioretty will deflect it past Jones and out. Victor Bartley brings it right back in, tees it up on net. Price will stop that as Cullen goes after it. Matt Cullen throws it in front, tipped away by Gonchar. Bartley hands it off for Bork, he'll throw it on goal, and Price steer to the side. Cullen again, spinning around, trying to get away from Plakenitz. Bork in to help out. Bolia cuts back of the goal as well. Now it's free. Here's Bork with it. Gabriel Bork up high. Victor Bartley hands it off to Jones. Firing and Price knocked that one away. Cullen up with it again. We'll send it back in the net. But Gonchar is there. The Predators go for a change. The Canadians get the puck back. And it's Nathan Bolia that'll try to move it ahead. But Jones stopped it. Thomas swipes at it. Gostad got of the way. Nystrom handing it off for Jokinen. Jokinen on net, stopped by Price. Puck was loose, but it's blown down as Mark Jonet lost sight of it. As the National Predators continue to pepper shots towards Carey Price, now with 23 shots on goal. We're not even halfway through this hockey game. At first, it's Colin Wilson cross ice. Price just gets that glove and that shot that I think was labeled for the top corner. After that, Wilson with the wraparound, and Price had to be sharp on that one as well and then mike fisher nice curl and drag here fires a wrist shot price does a nice job of stacking up and making that save look easy nine nothing are the shots in favor of the predators here in the second period they, they sure do come fast and heavy and it's been all predators so far here in the second canadians get the puck out down the ice victor bartley will race after it all around giving chase bartley coughed it up in the middle but it is Forsberg that was there to get it. Hands it off for Smith. Little drop pass as it's tipped to the corner by Ribeiro. Now Markov will get it up off the stick of Prust and back down the ice. Seth Jones. Loops around away from Bornaval. Markov at the point trying to hold it in. That got stopped. Bornaval is there. Lost the handle on it. Ribeiro throws the backhand pass across to Smith with a shot right on and Price has got it. Pretty routine save for Carey Price. Craig Smith, another one of those national predators that loves to fire the puck. He's got 134 shots on net so far. Well, that's not the most. It's Philip Forsberg with 140 shots for the young rookie. And there's a reason he's got 39 points so far. He's not afraid to shoot the puck. Fire Zeller. We'll take the draw against Gostad. And they're going to throw LRM, so get this a catch. We'll square off. And a battle comes up for the puck. Try to get it up on the boards, but Nystrom stopped it. It's back for Yemelin. Gilbert is there, and he'll clear it off the glass, and it rolls back into the Nashville zone. Volchenkov trying to play it. Sakach in there as well. Thomas trying to help out. Gilbert racing in for the puck. Swung it around and Thomas will hustle after it. Christian Thomas drops it back for Sakach. Tried to flip it in front and it's batted out of the air by the hand of Ekholm. And he'll move it forward and out for Nystrom. Gilbert to Thomas. Fan of the pass. Now is to get away from Nystrom as Thomas will chip it into the Predator zone. Barzeller going after the puck. Deflects it back for Thomas. Jokinen trying to move it. Played out and Wilson will knock it down. Here comes Wilson with it. Long shot. And that will sail over the glass and out of play. Not a bad job by the Canadians third line. 
the fourth line with Christian Thomas getting a little bit of a forecheck going so far for the Canadians, but they're having a real tough time establishing any offensive zone time against the Predators. The Predators just do a nice, such a nice job of exiting their zone with quick, efficient breakout passes, and they've been doing it all night so far. Now Manny Malhotra squaring off with Mike Fisher. And Fisher won it, but it came right to Tierney, and he's in stride. Tierney heading it off for Gallagher. Gallagher trying to get around Yossi, flipped it off the outside of the net. Galchenyuk in a battle with Wilson, James Neal. Trying to clear the zone. Dale May kept it in. Gallagher bumped on the play and it comes back for Neal. His pass broken up by Dale May. Here comes Gallagher with it. Can't get by Yossi and Fisher will clear the zone. Markov trying to chip it up ahead and Fisher shot it into the bench. And that one is out of play. And Graham Reinbend, the athletic therapist for Montreal with a nice catch on that puck. The Montreal Canadiens are going to have to find a way to start getting pucks in deep. And here's Gallagher does a nice job trying an under the stick move and taking it to the net, but isn't able to get a shot on goal as the Canadians continue to only have four shots on goal so far. We're already 14 minutes into the second period. There's Plakanitz off for Dale Weiss. Weiss trying to spin away from Yossi. Now does Weiss. To Thomas Plakanitz up high. Nathan Bowyer with a shot. It's wide. Plakanitz trying to throw it back out in front, but it's picked off by Cullen. Matt Cullen skates it up to the Canadian zone. Tried the shot on Nick Gonchar will block it. And it's Plakanitz that hands it out for Dale Weiss. Weiss across intended for Pacioretty, but it's into the feet of the Arncro. And cleared back down the ice. Icing called against Nashville. Well, you don't need to be perfect if you want to try and, and, and beat this team and generate some shots. Here's the difference between the Canadians and the Predators right now. They get an opportunity to shoot the puck. They don't hit the net. I know there's a guy in the shooting lane, but you have to find a way to get pucks on net right now because so far the Canadians, they're not able to generate any offense. You miss the net, it's a one and out, or actually a net and out. Off the boards and out the Predators come the other way. This Nashville defense so tough, though, to get around. Subban back on. And the big thing, and they're not the biggest of decors, but they're they're fast, they're fleet of foot, and they get to loose pucks quickly. Subban hands it off for Markov. Long feed to Brandon Prust. Trying to work it up on the wing. That got stopped. Mel Holtra rolls it over. Brandon Prust hustling after it. Seth Jones will slide it over to Victor Bartley. Pass too far for Ribeiro, and that will be another icing call against Nashville. Fans, you can join Club 1909 and collect points for just being a fan. Exchange them for money, can't buy products and experiences. Tonight's unique game code is All-Star. Log on to your Club1909.com account in the next 15 minutes and earn five points by entering this code. Puck rolls back for Andre Markov. Turn it over as Forsberg will race into the Canadian zone. Forsberg to the net. Shot it wide, but he'll draw the penalty. Carter Hutton heads to the bench. Here's a chance, and Ekholm stick breaks as he steps into one, and a hooking call will send Nashville to the first power play of the night. Forsberg with some great speed, and it's Markov that has a tough time handling the puck at the blue line. He ends up taking the, the slash here, and, and watch Forsberg. He breaks away from Mark, Markov and all alone, and that's a good penalty to take right there if you're Markov. And a power play for the Predators when we return to Canadians Hockey on Sportsnet, presented by Rogers. Andre Markov, who's usually has some silky soft mitts back on the point. And this is the thing when you play the offside, you have to bring the puck over from backhand to forehand. And right there, the puck just comes on end, enough to lose it for a split second. And Philip Forsberg picks it up. He's in all alone. It's actually Subban at the end that a little bit of a slash on the stick, just enough to put him off so he's not able to get a good shot, but it's Markov that ends up getting the penalty. The Nashville power play, tied with the Canadians for being ranked 23rd in the league, has 11 goals in their past 11 games. The Canadians penalty killers have allowed five power play goals in their last five. 
the funny, funny thing about the Predators power play, it's actually better on the road. 20% on the road. Not very good at home, though. Yossi stopped at the line by Mo Holtra. Prust will try to jam it out, but it was touched by Weber, and that will be an offside. That's usually opposite of, of most teams have more success. Just at, the ho at home, you usually feel more com comfortable. That's the case with, with the Canadians. They're a much better team at home on the power play, but for some reason, Peter Laviolette was asked this this morning, why are you guys a better team on the road? And he said, I've got no clue. Yossi will fire it in. Hopped over the stick of Price. Alexei Yemelin worked it around the glass. Yossi waiting for it. Try to chip it back in, comes to Fisher. Slides it for Neal. Forsberg blew a tire. But Weber will keep it in, and now Forsberg goes back to Weber, across for Yossi. Roman Yossi dropping it back for Shea Weber. Hands it off to Yossi again. Yossi taking his time with it. Gives way to Mike Fisher. Fisher trying to go back for Yossi. Placanet's got his stick in the way, blocked it partially. Now Price trying to move it around the glass, comes up the boards, and Pacioretty has got it. Hands it up for Placanets. Here come the Canadian shorthanded. Yellow and a drive, and he just missed the net. And the puck will cream off the boards all the way back down to the Montreal zone. A great opportunity for Yemelin, but you got to hit the net there. This time, Yemelin will fire it down the ice, and Hutton will leave it. Seth Jones is on it. You're right, dangerous play when the everyone's up ice shorthanded like that, and the puck comes back up the other way. Wilson tried to dump it in. Subban is there. Fired to the line. Ribeiro kept it in. Across for Ekholm. Subban blocks it again. Broken stick here as Malhotra tried to chip it up the boards. Smith without a stick. Steps in the way of Prust. Seth Jones trying to hold the line, but it's brought out. Ekholm is on it. Up ahead for Wilson. That's an offside against Nashville. I talked about Carey Price's ability to play the puck, and that's what starts this whole shorthanded rush for the Canadians. He gets that puck up on the glass. Pacioretty wins the battle, with, along with Yemlin, who just pokes that puck up, and then he takes off the defensive defenseman. Nice job to join the rush, but once again, the Canadians having a terrible time hitting the net tonight against a goaltender that hasn't had a lot of action, Carter Hutton. You see the power play percentages the Canadians and the Predators, as you mentioned, John, both tied 15.9%, which hasn't been very good. But according to the Predators coach, Laviolette, he's happy the way it's been trending as of late. It's starting to pick up some momentum, much like the Canadians' power play. 5 of 15 for the last 15 chances. It's starting to hum along nicely lately. Gilbert trying to roll it up the board. Zach up block. Bork is there. He'll flip it back to the Canadian zone. Tom Gilbert got it ahead for Brendan Gallagher, deflected in. Victor Bartley goes after it, being watched by Dearnay. Matt Cullen tried to stop it. Dearnay sends it back to Brendan Gallagher. Up high for Alexei Yemelin. Yemelin flipped it off for Galchenyuk. Over to Dearnay. Looks out front, hangs onto it, trying to spin a pass to Gallagher, and he was tied up by Bartley. Brendan Gallagher knocked down. By Arncrook. It comes back for Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot through traffic. Hutton down. Couldn't find it. Puck gets clear. That one didn't make it through to the net. Here's a pass ahead. Sakach will deflect it in. Eller going after it. Yossi got in the way. Now it's turned over by Nystrom. Sakach back up with the puck. Takes the shot. Hit a skate in front. Didn't make it to the net. The opening is there, and he'll dump it back in. Nystrom taken into the boards by Markov. Christian Thomas is on it, and he'll flip it ahead for Lars Eller. We've hit the midway mark here of the second period, and Jokinen got clipped with a high stick. And this is going to be a penalty to Montreal. Markov arguing the case. Markov's going to go back to the box here. And he's trying to argue his case right here. And I've yet to see a call be reversed. <laughs> but earlier on, here's a chance for the Canadians. It gets back to Gilbert. Tries to get the puck through. A lot of traffic in front. Deharnay whacking away at that puck. But the Predators do a nice job of collapsing back. And 
Here's the call right here, trying to see. It's the puck that actually hits Jokin in the face, not a stick. So this, and the, the Bell Center crowd right now is, I saw the replay and they are none too happy right now. Well, the officials just had a meeting together and you have to wonder if they're having a discussion to maybe reverse the call. Uh, and, I, and I think that's the case. And I, I, I'm going to eat my words here because I've, I've yet to see a call reversed. They've picked up the flag and by the looks of it. <laughs> I've never seen this before. And this is incredible. But when, when you watch the replay right here, it's the, it, it's the puck that gets him right in the face. And right there it comes up, gets him right, I, I think, just above the eyes. And you see Jokinen getting some attention on the bench right now for the national training staff. <laughs> That's tough. Your eyes start to water. I used to hate getting the puck in the eye. And Nice to see, though, the officials get it right. A little argument to be, re to, to be made for, for replay on, on penalties. So after a meeting of the minds, the penalty is waved off. <laughs> the flag is picked up. The flag up. is picked up. You don't see that every day, that's for sure. But the call was the correct one to make. Now Weiss, locked down, going into Nashville's home. Fans wanted another one. Here's Pacioretty, dumping it in. Plakanitz is on it. Canadians have still not recorded a shot on net here in the second period. Gonchar throws it in wide. Dale Weiss is on it. Weiss trying to get away from Weber. Up for Nathan Bolger. Bolger pressured on the play. Weiss comes in to help out. Dale Weiss taken into the corner by Kostek. Pacioretty swung it around to Gonchar. Sergey Gonchar to Pacioretty. Throws it on net. Backhanded on goal. Hutton will stop it. And there's your shot on net. The fans will applaud that. We're still scoreless here at the Bell Center midway through the second. You're watching Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet. Well, there's a big applause here as we went to break with the Canadians finally getting their first shot over 10 minutes in the second period. It took them, but here's the reason why. The Nashville Predators are a team that is stacked on defense. Obviously, Shea Weber, one of the best in the business. We've talked about Roman Yossi all night. And Seth Jones, the fourth overall pick for the Predators. But there's also, you look at Matthias Ekholm back there and Anton Volchenkov, who's, who's had a great career as a shutdown defenseman as well. All of those defensemen can skate, they're all mobile, and they do a real nice job of keeping things to the outside. Tonight, they've really made it tough on the Montreal Canadiens, and big reason why the National Predators lead the NHL in goals against. Offside called here at the Canadiens line, and you're right, you're getting a good look at the strength of Nashville tonight. We hear so much about Pekka Rene, who is the most valuable player of this Predators team with the 29 wins of, of their 30 wins, which is incredible. We're, we're so used to Carey Price, and he's also had a great season. But that is, that, that's extraordinary to, to rely on one goaltender. But those wins come because of other aspects of this team, and another big facet is the defense. Gallagher won the draw. Gilbertson, it over to Yemelin with a shot. And it stopped by Hutton as he had to look around a few legs to see that one. Carter Hutton doing a nice job of making sure there's no rebound. But it all comes off a face-off win here, and it's simple hockey. This is what you need to start doing here through the Canadians. Nice key to D off the face-off. Yemlin fans out, risks the puck to the net. I like the fact he doesn't have to tee it up there. Get it towards the net, a couple feet off the ice. Keep doing that. Good things will happen here for the Canadians moving forward. Echo will fire it off the glass. That'll come out for Bork, and he'll tip it into the Canadians' end. Rice leaves it for Subban. Had to get away from traffic. Plakanitz tried to go up for Pacioretty. That got missed. And the Predators play it right back in the Montreal zone. Subban around the top of the glass, and that one ends up out of play. There's Dustin Tukarski, and we talked about Nashville's backup, Carter Hutton, who's, who's in tonight. And you're not sure what you're going to have with Carter Hutton. He hasn't had any playoff experience. And with Dustin Tukarski, Yes, you have Carey Price, arguably one of the best goaltenders in the league, but if he happens to go down, the Montreal Canadiens are very comfortable and very confident in what Dustin Tukarski can do for them. Big reason, came in last year in the playoffs was, and was exceptional. Well, Tukarski, uh, 
winner at all levels before getting up to the NHL, Memorial Cup and a Calder Cup in the American League. That's one of the reasons they entrusted him with a job last year in the conference final. It's, it, it's great to have that elite goaltender, but you need to have a capable backup. And for Tikarski, he's played extremely well this year as, as well. Here's Weber. Handing it out for Yossi. Skips it up for Wilson. Wilson going in. Fisher to the net. Subban lying down. He blocks the pass. Huck gets thrown back to the bench where the Predators are out of change, and it ends up all the way down the ice. Wow, a desperation dive, and Subban just got his stick on that great defensive play. Here's Forsberg getting by Gonchar. In the line, and it's bucketed off the outside of the net by Ribeiro. Price has lost his stick. Now he'll grab Dearmes from the line. Jones fires, scores! Seth Jones with a rocket from the point in the top corner, and the Predators have taken the 1-0 lead. All kinds of pressure for the National Predators. It was Subban earlier breaking up the two-on-one and a wide-open net for Mike Ribeiro, but this time it's Seth Jones that makes no mistake as he hammers one in from the point and Price had lost his stick on that play and watching right here as this play develops it's actually DeHarnay that gives him his stick but from the point watch right here Jones just gets it tees it up and he wires it it's a high shot and I think that deflects it might the Price might have got a piece of that but it ends up going into the top corner and Predator has had a few beauty chances before that as well. So often when Carey Price loses a stick, he does not take a player's stick. He'd prefer to play without it. And that time there, Dayarmé gave it to him, and he tried to grab it. And when you see, he wasn't really set at the yeah. time and then let it go just before the shot came. But a lot of times, unlike most goaltenders, Price will rather not have a stick and just go without it. It's such a different feeling of having the player's stick. Here's Jokinen with a shot towards the net off his skate. Point of out, trying to play it up the boards. And that puck is now in Alexei Yemel and is on it. Nashville 17, one and two when scoring first. Here's Pacioretty throwing it back towards the net. That got tipped wide, Subban is on it. BK Subban curling around with it. Hangs on, tries to get away from Nystrom. Subban taking it for a skate, center to the ball, trap, great chance, stopped by Hutton. Oh, Manny Mill, no, Ultra with an excellent opportunity to tie it and just didn't get a clean shot away. Here's Markov, dodged the check of Bartley. Mal Holtra for Brandon Prust in the corner, knocked down. And the Predators will clear it out. This will be a nice and call against Nashville as P.K. Subban tries to get things going for Montreal. Yeah, looking for some excitement in the Bell Center here. And it's P.K. Subban that brings it. And what patience he has on the blue line. Not many players in the league are able to do the things that PK can do. And you look at the puck protection. He's the last man back. Look at the confidence. Waiting, waiting for something to open up. Right here, quick little backhand pass to the high slot. The Canadians get a couple opportunities there, whacking away at Carter Hutton. And earlier, Subban breaks up the 2 on one If that pass gets through, that's a tap-in goal for Mike Fisher. And having another look at this goal, it all starts with this stretch pass and Price going to lose his stick on this play and I think that's what throws it off. That's John, you mentioned he had to use DeHarnay's stick here. As soon as he gets the stick, Jones tees it up. And I think Price was a little caught off guard having the DeHarnay stick and earlier before that it was Ribeiro with the wide open net. Misses the entire cage on Carey Price and right after that it comes back to Jones and he just wires it top shelf beating Carey Price. So the Predators, Peter Laviolette calling their timeout after that icing call. And now, Canadians get the draw back in the Nashville zone and want to continue building some momentum here. Jones from Forsberg on the goal here in the second for the 1 0 Nashville lead. The Canets want it. Markov shoots, kicked out by Hutton. Jones will chip it off the glass. Markov knocked it down. Paul Gostad doesn't want to play it. Patch already can't touch it. It'll be a hand pass. They're all hanging onto it. And now, as a result, it'll be a face-off in the Nashville zone. Well, one thing the Canadians can do and do a lot better than the Nashville Predators is win face-offs. They're one of the top teams in the league in face-offs at 54.1%. And that's how they're going to get another opportunity. It's Placanix gets some help. 
from his winger there. Patch right, he scoops it back to the point. Markov gets it on net. The Predators as a team, only 47.7% on faceoff. So if they have a weakness, it's winning draws. They've got Gostad, but besides that, the rest of their center icemen are not that good on draws. The cannons tossed out here. Weiss will come in to take it against Fisher. Now they drop it. The cannons trying to hold up Weber, but the puck will come out. Markov will chip it right back in. Canadians clear the zone. Shea Weber is on it. Hands it out for Roman Yossi. Up on the wing, and it's dumped in by Neal. Subban going after it. Fired it around the boards. Dale Reese will tip it out. The puck will end up back down the ice. Carter Hutton out of the net. Wants to play. I've got five Plaquettes off the glass as Wilson hands it off for Fisher. Trying to deflect it by Suman. Markoff will roll it around as Weiss goes after it. Dale Weiss tipped it ahead. Plaquettes will dump it in. Wrong side of center though. Icing call against Montreal this time. Looked like Plaquettes was trying to get a stick on that, avoid the icing. He just wasn't able to time it properly in the, for the Canadians. This mechanics line has now been out for a little while, so they're going to need a face-off win because the Predator is now have some fresh troops out there, and they've got the number one line. The Ribeiro unit's going to try and win the draw here and catch a tired Thomas Placanitz unit. But Placanitz comes up with a face-off, and it's Subban that'll fire it around the boards, and it's off the glass and out of play, so both teams will get a change. Seth Jones with the goal. The Predators are out front 1-0 with Canadians Hockey on Sportsnet. Well, usually the rule of thumb when your goaltender loses a stick, a player on the ice, you want to give the goaltender a stick because most goaltenders like to have that stick on their ice. It just makes them feel comfortable. Carey Price is not that type of goaltender. Right here, he loses his stick. And David DeHarnay thinks he's doing the right thing. Passes Price his stick right here. Watch right here. Price isn't comfortable with it. And because of that, he ends up dropping the stick. He's not set for the shot. And Seth Jones, I think, catches him off guard because Price didn't get a chance to set himself for that shot. But it's funny, very few, most goaltenders like having that stick in their hands, but Price, one of the few that don't. Price with a stop there, and you're right, there's been times in other games where a teammate has tried to hand him a stick and he's waved him off. Never mind, I'll play without it. Well, and he's it, just more comfortable it, that it's, way. It's such a different, it, a lot of guys like the feeling, but some don't, and obviously for Price, he, he just uh, doesn't feel comfortable with that player type stick, but a lot of pressure before that. Three three beautiful chances, and uh, Ribeiro missing the wide open net, and eventually came back to Jones, who fired it in for Nashville's first goal. Gonchar will hand it off for Gallagher. He'll get it off the boards. This will roll down the ice, and the Canadians are going to get caught for icing here, and then it'll end up back in the Montreal zone. The Canadians now finally with four excuse me, five shots on goal. It, it, it took until the nine-minute mark to finally get some rubber towards Carter Hutton. And Carey Price been very busy all night long for the Canadians, and Montreal is going to need to make a push here in the last five minutes of the second period. Here's Gallagher picking up the puck and building speed through center. Gallagher into the predator zone, trying to get around Ekholm. Takes it off the board, throwing out. Smith pressured by Dearmey. Dearmey is on the puck, over to Gonchar. Back off the boards. Galchenyuk around to Gallagher. Gallagher trying to escape. Bolchenkov here as he's checked. Ribeiro threw it across, got it to Forsberg as it hopped by the stick of Bolger. Here's Forsberg cutting in with a shot and it's wide. Nathan Bolger tied up by Forsberg. Galchenyuk in to help out. Huck played free. Gallagher diving for it, swipes at it, can't get it out. Now it's Gonchar, they gave it to Gallagher, and he'll clear it as he was checked immediately by Ribeiro. Didn't see him coming, now on the turnover, he's got it, and has Pornadal with him. Gallagher fires, stopped by Hutton, rebound, and it's cleared out of the crease by Seth Jones. What an opportunity there for the Canadians to tie it, and Seth Jones back to clear it away. Gonchar hands it off for Pornadal. Pornadal up for Preston, it hopped over his stick. Brandon Press trying to get to it. Portaval pinching in. That puck's tipped in the air. Malholtra tried to knock it down, and it's brought back up ice. Jan Kroak with it. Jan Kroak throws it across to Gabriel Bort. Bort taken into the boards by Emelin. Back the other way comes Brandon Press trying to tip it by Yossi, but he won't let him into the Nashville zone. Seth Jones to Roman Yossi. 
Pass ahead through the feet of James Neal. Yemelin going after it. Hands it out for Gilbert. Up on the wing and Prust will get it down the ice. Pacioretty racing after it, but Weber will chop it away. Now Gilbert hands it off. Lacanet's in. Can't pull the trigger on a shot. Pacioretty shoots. Stuck by him. Rebound. Pacioretty shot got blocked. And the puck skips out of the zone. Canadians getting a few chances now late in the second. Pacioretty going after it again. Trying to roll it in front, but it'll end up in the corner, and Weber is on it. Takes the hit from Pacioretty, and the puck is brought in by Wilson. Colin Wilson handing it off. Yossi follows up with the play. Forced wide by Weiss. Dropped it. Neal fires. It's off the stick handle of Price. Fisher tangled up with Markov. It's swung around, and Neal is there. James Neal off the outside of the net. Fisher handing it back for Wilson. Wilson out front off the skate of Markov. He'll come to the other side, throws it through the crease. Weber in for the point with a drive that ends up off a skate. James Neal spinning around with it. Neal throws it back into the corner. Weber will hustle after it. Down low to Wilson, trying to get away from Markov. Puck comes loose. Pacioretty deflects it ahead, and Weiss has got it. Weber is back. Dale Weiss around Weber. Lacanich trying to reach it. He'll send it back to the goal, and Weiss is there waiting for it. Cuts off Roman Yossi. Dale Weiss trying to feed the point. It's broken up. Sakach goes after it. He runs into Weber, and Yossi has got it. Here comes Thomas. Can't reach it, and the Predators clear it. Price out of the net. And he'll back in it up the boards to Lars Eller, who reverses it for Nathan Bollier. Canadians now settle it down. Two minutes to go in the second period. Predators out front, 1-0. Long pass through center. That comes off the boards, and Hutton is forced to cover it up with Sakach going to the net. Are the Montreal Canadiens making a nice push here late in the second period. Turnover in the neutral zone. Gallagher scoops it up. He's caught at the end of the shift, but he gets a big shot away here. Rebound comes out in front. It actually squeaks through the crease, but Montreal's not able to crowd it. And then it's Pacioretty. Nice little toe drag shot on goal. Goes for his rebound, but it's Roman Yossi that slides out and stops that second opportunity by Pacioretty. Well, the Canadians pressing a bit here late in this period. Dostan and Eller will a draw. Eller gets tossed out. Thomason to take it now. Thomas won it along the boards. Eller had it knocked away by Jones. Gilbert at the line trying to hold it in. Dostad goes right after him. Eller in to help out. Knocked down by Echo, but the puck is taken away by Nystrom. Sakach got his stick in the lane of the pass, and he'll swoop it back for Montreal. Puck rolled into the Predator zone. Ekholm going after it. It's a catch. Knocked it down. Thomas along the boards trying to hold it. Hutton out of the net. He'll stop it. Plays it around the glass. Thomas trying to knock it down. Held in by Gilbert. Now Lars Heller trying to move it away from Gostad, but the puck gets flipped out at center. That's a good strong forecheck by Sakach. The Canadians forwards need more of that. Gostad blocks it in his skate. Thomas Trying to jar it free. Eller in to help out. Galchenyuk is on it. Cuts in front. Galchenyuk with a chance. And Hutton had the paddle down. Thomas hit to the boards by Jones. Ekholm had to dodge the check of Galchenyuk as he got the puck out. Nathan Bolia handing it off for Gonchar. Feeds it up to Dernay over to Gallagher. Gallagher is streaking into the net. Stop by Hutton. Rebound and a shot got blocked. What a play by Brendan Gallagher trying to go to the goal. Here's Galchenyuk to Dernay. Back to Gonchar. Gonchar down low, and it's away from the stick of Galchenyuk. Pinching in is Nathan Bolger. Trying to hold it. Smith knocked it free, and it's flipped high in the air by Ribeiro. Back to the Canadiens' line, and Nathan Bolger will knock it out to center. Dernay got away from Gostak. Ten seconds to go in the period. One last rush here for Montreal. Gonchar. Played it up ahead. Dearnay was looking the other way. He didn't see the pass coming. The Predators clear it. And that'll do it for period number two. A period where the Predators dominate the shots and get the only goal. A great push by the Canadians late in the second, but it was Carter Hutton with some huge saves on the Montreal Canadiens.
Seth Jones, the marker for Nashville. They're out shooting Montreal 28-13 and lead 1-0. Kevin Ivanka up next after the break. It's been all about the defense for the Nashville Predators. Seth Jones with the goal as Nashville's out front 1-0 after 40 minutes of play here in Montreal. Well, Shea Weber, of course, is one of the stars for the Nashville Predators and has been in the NHL on the blue line for several seasons now. And Shea Weber, a big part of Nashville's blue line. However, his story to get to the NHL is an interesting one because Shea Weber almost was never drafted. Here's a Rashman The Nashville Predators are very proud to select one of the very best in the world. He can let it rip. Their star player is Shea Weber. He's unbelievable. Well, the Rockets, Shea Weber. That almost never happened. Shea Weber wasn't drafted into the WHL. In fact, he was cut from the Prince George Cougars and even the Junior A Quinnell Millionaires. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it goes back to small town. Um, playing single A, you know, sometimes we'd be double A, but we weren't playing against the big cities, the big triple A cities, and, you know, maybe it was more of a motivating factor. You know, I was hoping I would get drafted, but I didn't, so I just kept working at it. Everything changed for Shea when Lauren Fry and the Kelowna Rockets gambled on the young defenseman. I watched him in a playoff game, and uh, as a young defenseman, he was her captain at the time, and, and he skated well. He moved the puck well. He wasn't overly big, probably 5'10 at that time, but and he had a little bite to him, and, uh, you know, I just said to myself, uh, well, you know, he's not a bad player. Let's just, uh, I'm going to throw him on here and take a chance. The fortuitous partnering paid off in spades. In three full years with the Rockets, Shea Weber grew from 5'10 to 6'3 and put on close to 40 pounds. Meanwhile, with Weber in the lineup, Kelowna made three straight Memorial Cups. Looking back on it, it's still uh, hard to believe, just... It was, it's tough, you, the teams you have to go through, the, the hard playoff series, I mean, it's, uh, it's a tough league and there's a, such a turnover every year with kids and, and you know, you get fresh young guys and sometimes it doesn't mix and I was very lucky to, to be a part of that. so much more special. I mean, the, the people there, the city was unbelievable. The event was great, and uh, the support we got, it was, uh, you know, something like I've never seen from a, from a community like that. From undersized and undrafted to arguably the best Kelowna Rocket ever, Shea Weber will never be forgotten in the heart of the Okanagan. Shea was a special player just because he's uh, such a big man and played any style you wanted to play, he could play, and it's great to just... Uh, have had him come through our organization. Unbelievable to think Shea Weber uh, was looked over like that and now has become a franchise player. Yeah, unbelievable that he was only five foot ten in junior and now he stands at six foot four, 235 pounds and uh, He's had a beast of a game for a beast of a man so far tonight. And a great example for some youngsters, too, that maybe have been overlooked in the draft not to give up because sometimes you can be a bit of a late bloomer. Well, in the second period, the Canadians didn't get many shots on net. They had some chances, but they were wide. Oh, they didn't get their first opportunity, their first shot on goal till the nine-minute mark in the second period. But late in the last five minutes, they started to make a push. It started with Gallagher fighting to get to the net. But for the Canadians, early and often in that second period, too many missed shots. Yemlin on the shorthanded chance. You're, you're right in there. You have to hit the net. But later on, starting to hit the net, starting to get some traffic in front, and starting to be more physical. A couple big hits late in that second period as well for the Canadians' forwards on the forecheck. Yeah, and credit to the Nashville Predators as well, the way they're playing. They keep everyone to the outside and not allow those good opportunities. But there were a few late in the period with the Canadians pressing. Yes, there were, and, and for the Canadians, they did a nice job in those last five minutes of just getting pucks toward the net. And for the Canadians, they started to use their speed. Gallagher just getting it through, it, and that was a lucky bounce for the Predators. That could have went in. And Galchenyuk, nice power move from the forward, dropping the shoulder and getting to the front of the net. 
And there's Gallagher again doing what he does does best, driving to the net, and he actually using his smallish frame to his advantage, dipping the shoulder and getting underneath the, the bigger national predators defenseman. If you're Michelle Therrien right now, what's the message to the team in the second intermission? Get on their defensemen and start hitting them and making them pay a price. That's what they did in the second period, and by doing that, they started to get more chances. 28-13, the shots in favor of the Nashville Predators, and they dominated in that second period as well, 14-9, and uh, they're averaging, well, right on, bang on, 14 a period right now, but the Canadians, all those nine shots, as you mentioned, Jason, came in the second half of that period. Seth Jones with the goal, Forsberg with the assist, and that is the lone marker, so despite the fact that the Predators have really dominated a lot of this game, the Canadians are still in it. Well, if I'm Michelle Therrien, and, and my second period speech to my Montreal Canadiens is, guys, we haven't played a great game so far. Terry's been standing on his head, but guess what? It's only one nothing so far, and for the Canadians, they've been a third period team all season long, and here we are in the third period again, and I, I'm looking right now for the Canadians heading into the All-Star break to have their best third period so far of the regular season, because they're going to need it. This quick Nashville Predators team, they're going to be tough to be here in the third period, but it's got to start with just simplifying and getting more pucks, more traffic, more bodies in front of that. You hear all those buzzwords? Well, they're going to need them in this third period. Brendan Gallagher, Max Pacioretty, and Andre Markov, the only players for the Canadians to have two shots on net. The rest are one or none so far in this game, and the Predators have a whole slew that have got on the board. In fact, there's only a couple of players that haven't recorded a shot on net so far tonight, and surprisingly, Mike Ribeiro is one of them. But here we go, third period underway, and it's Shane Weber that'll bank it out at center. Day on May broke it up. Galchenyuk trying to knock it back in. Smith hands it across to Forsberg. Had a little trouble with it. He'll turn back and wait for the Predators to finish up a line change. B.K. Subban spinning around to escape Smith. Subban trying to shake off Smith. And a penalty here as Smith is going to get called for holding as Subban draws it. And Montreal will get a shot on the power play. This is the perfect start for a third period that the Canadians could ask for, getting on the power play. A power play that's been much better as of late, and it's Subban with that back spin move he likes to do so often. He protects the puck well, and when he does that, Smith gets the stick out, reaches in, enough to get a call there, but it, all because of the skill and the puck protection of P.K. Subban. Canadians' power play has six goals in their past 11 home games. And they could use a big one now here early in the third to get back on the board. Blakanitz out there against Gostad. Blakanitz won it. Back for Suman. Fires, and that one is wide. Pacioretty's got it. Thanks, Pacioretty. Hanging on to it. Pacioretty hands it up for Thomas Blakanitz. Back up high to Markov. Markov fakes the shot, throws it to Subban. Trying to chip it towards the net. He was jammed in tight. Blakanitz had it in his skates. And it comes up the board. Pacioretty in a battle here with Nystrom. And the puck is cleared. And the Predators bench wanted a call there. Andre Markov back with it. He'll dump it in around the glass. Knocked down. Subban has got it. P.K. Subban over to Andre Markov. Back for Subban. Throws it towards the net. It's off the stick and ends up over the glass in the netting and out of play. P.K. Subban just trying to get pucks to the net. And I like how this Montreal power play came out firing. And that's what you need to do. You have to establish the point shot right away. And I like the fact Subban right away taking the big slap shot. He misses the net, but establish it earlier. And that should open some things up down low for the Canadians. Off the drive, comes back for Ekholm, and Ekholm has got it. He'll fire it off the boards to center. Subban blocked it. David Dearnay brings it back in. Hutton wants to play. He'll get it up off the glass, and now it skips back to the line. Markov is there. Dumps it up for Galchenyuk. Batted around for Yerji Sekac. Sekac has got it. Feeds it back to Galchenyuk in front for Dearnay. That was deflected away by the stick of Hutton. Sekac. Back across to Galchenyuk. Sakach will work it around to Markov. Throws it over to Subban. Back to Markov again. Markov for Dearnay. Dearnay to Markov. Markov back for Dearnay. Subban sneaking in. Fires off the goal post. 
Subban had it lined up, and he hit the post. Dale May to Subban again with a shot. Scores! Go! Check it out. The power play comes through as Alex Galchenyuk re-erects it by Hutton and we're tied at one. Well, P.K. Subban had a couple big bombs earlier as the puck's going to come back to him on the point. Watch what he does right here. It's almost like a slap pass. He's aiming for a stick there. He shoots this puck right at Alex Galchenyuk's stick. He's got it on the ground, on the ice, ready to deflect it in. And he deflects that slap pass right through the legs at Carter Hutton. That's just a real heads-up play by P.K. Subban. He's shooting for the stick there, and he does a real nice job of doing just that. 12th of the year for Galchenyuk in his first power play goal. And we're tied at one with Subban and Dale May getting the assists. Now Weiss trying to dig it low, hands it off for Placanitz. Back up at the line and it's off the stick of Gonchar, comes out. Nathan Bollier hands it off for Gonchar. As Galchenyuk has goals in back-to-back -back games, now moving back to the wing position. Wilson is up. He'll swipe it across for Romero. Mike Romero dropping. Weber fires and he ripped it wide. Lacanitz takes it off the glass. Two on one. Pacioretty jumps in the play. Lacanitz on net. Hutton stopped it. Pacioretty racing after it and he'll poke it up on the wing and it's brought back out by Romero. Handing it across to Neal. Dropping. Here's Romero. Holds on. Romero trying to go back to the point. Volchenkov shoots. That is wide and Lars Eller will hustle after it. Eller racing in over the line. Eller fanned on it. Now he's got to go after the puck as Ekholm is there to get it. Ekholm takes the hit from Prust, and it is shot back out. Matt Cullen racing after it. Gilbert trying to tip it away. Alexei Yemelin poking it around the boards. Gilbert in there as well, and it's brought out by Yemelin up to Brandon Prust. Took the check. Got it up for Thomas. Thomas trying to get in the zone, and he'll tip it by Ekholm. Canadians have Got a little extra life here after that goal now as Gilbert will dump it back in. Yeah, they're really starting to find their skating legs now here in the third period. Each and every player looking faster here in the third period for the Canadians. Puck bounced off the boards and deflected in by Forsberg. Dayarne goes after it. Smith giving chase. Swung around. Subban got it to Gallagher and up for Galchenyuk. Here's Galchenyuk racing in, driving the net, crashes into Hutton, and the net comes off as Hutton is back to his feet. Nice job by young Alex Galchenyuk trying to drive the net there. A little under, over under the stick move for Galchenyuk. Look at him pick up the speed here. He's flying through the neutral zone. Under the stick he goes, tries to drive the net. And Seth Jones does a good job at keeping him to the outside. And earlier it's Thomas Placanix, takes it to the back end, doesn't have a pass, so what does he do? Shovels that on net, and that's a pretty good chance there. And you never know if that's going to bounce out, and Max Pacioretty almost banged that one in. Well, now a discussion here with the officials with the faceoff coming outside the zone. And Carey Price was going to the bench here, and it looks like there's an issue that they're going to need to call out the ice crew to attend to. Take another look at this power play goal by the Montreal Canadiens. As we wait here for our ice problem to get solved here. It's Carey Price chatting with the backup Dustin Tokarski. And earlier, you watch the setup here. David DeHarnay does a nice job of selling it down low play. That allows P.K. Subban to find a lane and I love the play here. Everyone's waiting for the big shot, but it's a slap pass that he shoots right at Alex Galchenyuk's stick, and Galchenyuk showing those soft hands as he tips it right to the legs of Carter Hutton. And you'd have to think now that he's been switched over to the left side, Galchenyuk is looking a lot more dangerous these days. He had that great start when he was shifted to the top line at, 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 at center, but the last couple games, he's looked very dangerous. and. There's just not as much pressure when you're a young player. He's only 20 years old, and the danger is you don't want to push young players. And for Galchenyuk, there's lots of time to be that center iceman. I think he'll be in the future, but 
He's looked real dangerous on the wing tonight. So it is a broken pane of glass behind the Canadian's net. We'll step aside, tied at one on Sportsnet. Well, Alex Galchenyuk starting to pick things up here in the latter parts of this hockey game and just his skill on display again. The great hands on the tip and where does this skill come from? I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from good genes. His father, Alexander Galchenyuk, who actually coached him when he was in Sarnia. I asked, I asked Alex, where'd you get those great hands? He says, my dad taught me and his father, as I mentioned, a good player in his outright was a world-class player. He played in actually the 1987 World Junior Championships and right here, this is a real tough thing to do if you're a forward. They're able to get your stick on a puck that is traveling that fast. It's a slap pass from Zubay, but that puck is traveling about 80 miles an hour, and that is some terrific hand-eye coordination by Alex Galchenyuk to get a stick on that, and he can thank his dad, Alexander, for those great hands. Well, Galchenyuk with his first power play goal of the season as they brought out the heavy artillery to fix the glass right now. It's the awkward pane of glass to change right behind the net, but the crew is on it quickly here. But Galchenyuk with that first power play goal, 12 in the year now. And the great hand-eye coordination. Just a terrific play all, all, all around. Oh, it is Scotiabank. Wednesday night hockey this week featuring the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Ottawa Senators Wednesday at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific on Sportsnet from the nation's capital. Battle of Ontario, that should be a fun one to watch on Wednesday night. It should be a great game and actually got the forklift out on the ice right now, John. And Heavy lifting, those uh, panes of glass. It reminds me of my days as a kid when I used to Work on a forklift for one summer back in Ottawa. Stocking shelves. Well, like I said, it's the most awkward piece probably to change. Right where the net cam is, right where the goal light is, but they're working pretty quickly here to get that big sheet replaced. And both benches now are Predators and the Canadians going for a skate on the ice, and it's always tough. You, you, you've played over two periods here, and your body's warm. You're into the game, and all of a sudden, you get a stoppage like this, and... In a 1-1 hockey game, the next goal, you'd have to think, probably be the winner here with both these teams being such stingy defensive teams. So you got to make sure you're ready once they get this glass fixed and the puck drops once again. Well, you've got all the players right now out on the ice. They're trying to keep the legs fresh and keep going for a skate. So you've got to stay loose. <laughs> Absolutely. And Taking a look at Thomas Placanix, who's been elevated to the first line. He's, I think he's played with almost every forward on the team so far on the Canadians, and he's been great since he's been put with Max Pacioretty. And the one mainstay on this top line all season long has been Max Pacioretty. He's had numerous different center icemen, but, but boy, the, the, the chemistry so far with Placanix, and Placanix such a smart player, just knows where everybody is on the ice, and you throw in just a lunch pail attitude that Dale Weiss has just up and down and when you play with Dale Weiss you, you just know what he's going to do. He's going to go north south, he's going to get pucks in, they're going to go to the net and big reason why Weiss, when you play with skilled guys, it's nice to have that guy that just simplifies things out there. You got to wonder who this benefits right now between the two teams, this little break, if it's killing any momentum for Montreal or helping the Predators or you have to think right now with, with Montreal, they had momentum in this game. The big power play goal by Gelchenyuk. All of a sudden, the crowd was into the hockey game. But this crowd here at the Bell Center, one of the loudest in the league, I'm sure they'll have no problem getting revved up against once we start up things again here in the third period. They really do a terrific job in here, though, John. As far as the in-game entertainment goes, uh, I've been extremely impressed so far this season. It's uh, As a player, I always remember how loud this building was, and sometimes it seems even louder from up here in the press box. Well, they're going to cheer now because the glass is fixed, and we're going to resume play. It's 16.01 to go here. In period number three in a 1-1 game, Seth Jones had the goal for Nashville in the second. Alex Galchenyuk, a power play marker for Montreal early here in the third to tie it.
Well, the Montreal Canadiens power play is having a lot more success lately, and one of the reasons is they're going into that diamond formation. They've gone into it against the Islanders, and they've had some success about putting that forward right in the middle and drawing some attention. You see Pacioretty right there, and what that does, that allows the point shot to open, and Subban was able to do that against the New York Islanders, and once again, it worked again tonight, that diamond formation. So play resumes as the puck is shot into the Nashville zone, and it's batted down. Here's Dale Weiss on it, feeding it over to Pacioretty. Shot off the glove of Hutton. Well, Hutton just got a piece of that one. Pacioretty trying to get away from Yossi, and that's going to be a penalty. Yossi's going to get called for holding. Pacioretty throws it in front. Hutton, the save. Weiss was parked on the doorstep, and now the Canadians are going to get another power play opportunity. Well, I'm sure Michelle Terry and his speech between periods was get pucks at the net. And that's exactly what they keep doing. They're shooting everything at Carter Hutton. And they've drawn another uh, penalty here to the Predators. And it's one of their top penalty killers in Roman Yossi. And right here behind the net, he gets the arm wrapped around Pacioretty. You see him out the other arm. Hey, hey, I'm not doing anything here. Pacioretty's smart enough, though, to make sure Yossi gets called to the hold there. Kept his feet moving as well, and that's always a big thing when you have the penalty called, and Pacioretty kept moving. There's Subban with it. Canadians one for one on the power play. They had two shots, and their last man advantage to get the goal, but it's the Predators that clear it. Price will set it up for Andre Markov. Here comes Markov, leading it up the ice from Montreal, ahead to Plakanitsin over the line. Chipped it off the board, Seth Jones is there, knocked down by Markov. Here's Gallagher going after it, Ekholm got the stick in on Gallagher, and Ekholm will take his time and shoot it back down the ice. Price sets it up for Markov. Andre Markov. Back out for Montreal, ahead to Dearnay, streaking in, trying to go to the net. Dernay back of the puck, fired it around the boards, and Conchar will go there to get it. That's it around to Galchenia. Hope free, Dernay is on it. David Dernay settles it down. Markov for Conchar, fired wide, Sakach trying to get to it. Galchenia came to help out, but it's Sakach that comes up with it. Hands it off to Dernay. David Dernay down low, Yerji Sakach feeds it up off the glass, so is that one off the stick of Ekholm, and it ends up out of play. Good puck protection down low by Yerji Sakach. Wasn't able to get that puck back to the point though, just getting his, tried to deflect it off the boards, but Predators defenseman was able to get a stick on that and put that puck over the glass. 37 seconds to go in the power play. The Predators win the draw. Weber going after it, and Shea Weber will send it all the way down the ice right on it as Price will glove it. Handing it off for Gonchar. Sergei Gonchar feeds it ahead for Sekac, and it's deflected into the Predator zone. Partly going after it. Dernay is on it. He'll hand it off for Galchenyuk around to Gonchar. Stopped it with his skate. Galchenyuk back to Dernay. Knocked down on the puck cut by Gonchar, and it's out, and he'll throw it over to Subban. Power play about to expire. Galchenyuk brings it back in. Feeds it across, Sakach dropping for Dernay to the line, Gonchar is on it, with the shot that went wide, had to move it quickly as Yossi was coming out of the box and was right in behind him. Sakach will slide it back for Alexei Yemelin. Yemelin swings it around, Subban going after it, Gostad trying to knock it down, Subban fights off Gostad, Subban still on the puck, waits, gets checked by Gostad, has it again, he'll drop it off to Brandon Prust. Lars Eller will pick it up. Eller taken into the boards by Gostad. Subban shakes off the check, slides it over to Yemelin. He'll hustle after it. Poked it free to Thomas. Thomas back of the net for Brandon Prust. Prust knocked down by Osi. Thomas into the corner with it. Christian Thomas back for Yemelin with a shot. Blocked in front. Thomas on it again. Center Prust. Home goal. Hutton down. And the puck is covered up by Carter Hutton as Lars Eller will draw some attention here around the Nashville net. Canadians keeping the pressure on in the Predator zone, but Hutton shuts the door and we're tied at one with Canadians Hockey on Sportsman.
Well, P.K. Subban has been impressive all night long, and the strength and puck protection ability of Subban is on display right here. He's so good at protecting the puck, and not many defensemen in the league can do these types of things. Look at one hand on the stick. He's able to extend this play, keep the cycle going for the Canadians, and establish that offensive zone time right here. One hand on his stick, shovels the pass all over, and this enables this chance that happens from the net by Press. He gets a nice opportunity in front of the net, and after that, some offsetting penalties with Lars Eller and Mike Ribeiro in front of the net. The tremendous strength by P.K. Subban. It's the ability to extend plays. When you do that, you tire out the other team because they have to defend. The longer you defend in your own zone, the more the more often the offensive team at the Canadians is going to get an offensive chance. And it's Montreal that's out shooting Nashville 6-1 to one here in the third. And now a little open ice with some 4-4 four four hockey. And Fisher won the draw. Got it back for Roman Yossi. Yossi hands it out to Mike Fisher. Fisher lost it in his skates. Subban now backpedals with it and he'll give way to Markov. Over to P.K. Subban. Subban had to escape the stick check of James Neal. Now has to retreat behind his own net. Neal's all over him. He'll play it across to Markov to take off the heat. Markov for Max Pacioretty. Pacioretty, cross-ice pass. Subban trying to catch up to it. Takes a hop and then got knocked away by Fisher. Shea Weber pressured by Placanitz. Hands it up for Roman Yossi. Lekanitz now has to hustle back to try and catch Fisher. Here's Fisher in with a shot off the shoulder of Price. And it ends up in the netting and out of play. Well, we've got a tight game here tonight in Montreal, 1-1. And the big reason why we got a close game, well, I think we got two very similar hockey teams, how they're built. You, you look up and down the rosters, you have your goal scorers in Pacioretty and James Neal. The former big-time scorers, and you have your skilled player, you have Ribeiro. Well, Montreal's got Thomas Blakernik. you got your young star, Forsberg, Galchenyuk, the defensive stud with Subban Weber, and obviously the goaltending. Rene's not in there tonight, but usually it is, and Terry Price, very similar type goaltender to Pekka Rene. One pass off the board, sends up all the way down the ice. Jones back to get it. Gary Price, as I just mentioned, is having a great season. He loves to face a lot of rubber, and the more pucks he faces, well, it seems the better he plays, and look at those numbers when he faces 30-plus shots in a game. 10-5-2, and two, the great goals against average, and another great stat, the save percentage. Just seems to get better the more opportunities and chances he faces. And Nashville just recorded their 30th shot on Price tonight. As Dearnay goes after the puck, tips it by Seth Jones and down the ice. Carter Hutton plays it up for Forsberg. Got away from him, and Nathan Bolia will slide it over to Gonchar. Brendan Gallagher couldn't handle the pass, and it's brought back in. Here's Ekholm with it. Ekholm trying to turn the corner on Gonchar. Hands it off for Forsberg in front. Gallagher got a piece of it with his stick. Colin Wilson was there. Wilson sends it across for Seth Jones. Jones pressured by Gallagher. Gonchar hands it off to Nathan Bollier. Bollier, long feed up for Gallagher. He'll deflect it. And it's Shea Weber back on it. Matt Cullen deflects it into the Canadian zone. Yemelin going after it. Dropped it off for Pacioretty. Yemelin up with it again. Brought in by Pacioretty. He's got speed. Pacioretty checks up with the shot, and it's over the shoulder of Hutton. Mike Ribeiro will feed it across, and it is back into the Canadian zone, and Gilbert is there. Well, the all-star fantasy draft comes your way Friday on Sportsnet at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Who would you want to pick first overall if you were an all-star captain? We'll find out who the captains do on Friday from Columbus, a nationwide arena. What a great weekend that's going to be. Well, Max patchretti has been relatively quiet tonight, but watch him pick up speed to the neutral zone. He's flying here, and a nice quick shot. That goes off the stick, I believe, of Roman Yossi, and that's a dangerous shot. Anytime it changes direction off your defenseman's stick, it makes it awfully tough for your goaltender. P.K. Subban back on the puck. And he'll flip it into the Predator zone. Weber going after it. Thomas giving chase. 
Runs Weber into the points. Comes around for Smith. Pass up ahead for Ribeiro out of his reach and down the ice. That'll be an icing call against Nashville. Montreal's really starting to pick up the pace and it started late in the second period. I believe they started to pick up some momentum late in that second period and it's really carried over here in the third period. They look like a different hockey club here in the third period versus the first and most parts of the second when Nashville carried most of the play. Puck cleared up ahead. Here's Ribeiro with it. Mike Ribeiro checks up, throws it across and a Shot on net, kicked out by Price off the stick of Weber. Bounces in front, knocked out of the air by Matt Cullen. And Price comes up with a stop. Cullen, some great hand-eye coordination there. We're tied at one, midway through the third at the Bell Center. You're watching Canadian Hockey on Sportsnet. Well, tonight we've got two of the, two of the best goaltenders as far as save percentage, well, Rene is not playing, but Carey Price with his 927 save percentage. And here you just you just never know where shots are going to come from when you make these saves. You think it's missed the net, but it pops off the glass, jumps over the net, and Matt Cullen whacks this puck right out of the air, and Price had to be very sharp to make that save. Need the eyes in the back of your head to follow that one. A strange bounce off the glass, and all of a sudden it, it, it comes out for a goaltender. You gotta be ready and aware at all times. And Price, great save. Quick shot there by Smith, and Price throws out the blocker. Puck dumped in by Ekholm, rolling in front. Ribeiro hangs on, fires. Price knocked that one away as well, and Pacioretty is on it. Max Pacioretty gets it in. Plakanitz will knock it down. Trying to feed it back for Pacioretty. It was broken up by Ekholm. Now Forsberg clears it. Here's Ribeiro. Gaining the line, and he'll flip it in as Nathan Bullier goes after it. Played around for Gonchar. Out the boards, we in a collision with Echo as the puck comes out, and it's stepped back in by Volchenkov, who then is hit by Pacioretty. Echo got the worst of that collision. Weiss gave him the forearm shiver. Here's Brandon Press with it up to Sikatch. Sikatch trying to drive it in, and Jones knocked it away. The catch back on it again. Hands it out for Brandon Prust. Prust fighting off Seth Jones. Ribeiro's got it, and he'll flip it out as Markov goes back to get it. Andre Markov played ahead for Eller. That'll roll into the Predator zone. Seth Jones, blind pass up the middle uh, on the wing there where Wilson got a piece of it. Now Markov trying to clear it. Fisher sends it back in front, and Price knocked it away before James Neal could reach it. Wilson stopped it on the glass. Brandon Prost hands it off to Markov. Markov feathers it up for Sakach and it hopped over his stick. He'll chase after it with Weber, but it's an icing call against Montreal. Well, both the Canadians and Predators with some opportunities, but first it's the Predators and Mike Ribeiro he doesn't shoot the puck often, but when he does, he's got a sneaky shot, and that one goes right off the shoulder of Price, and then Sakach, he picks up some steamer, protects the puck, thinks he's in, but Seth Jones with a great defensive play to poke that puck away from Yerji Sakach. P.K. Suman brings it around the glass, and that puck is held in at the line by Yossi. Cullen handing it out, Bork trying to get it in front. Now Gabriel Bork after it again. Subhan will cut him off. Eller tried to shoot it around. It goes off the leg of Cullen. And now Prust will send it over to Sakach. Sakach spins it across for Subhan. Pass up for Dearnay. David Dearnay knocked it down and he'll carry it in the Predator zone. Dearnay trying to get by Volchenkov. Now get some help from Gallagher. Brendan Gallagher spinning around. Gallagher throws it in front. Hutton to save. Gilbert fires. And Hutton threw the pad out on the rebound. Elchenia back behind the net. Dayarne going after it, but Cullen will knock it away. And it's Ekholm that'll get it off the glass. And it's stopped at center by Gilbert. Alexei Yemelin rolls it back for Gilbert. Yemelin on it again. He'll lift it into the Predator zone. Ekholm going after it. Gallagher giving chase. Puck cleared off the glass. Gilbert knocked it down. And it's rolled away by Volchenkov as Ole Okunen will work it into the Canadian zone. 
Gilbert hands it up for Dale Weiss. And now it's Placanet set on knock it into the Predator zone. Thomas Placanet's going after it. Pacioretty tried to center, but it's knocked away. And here comes Jokinen. Ole Jokinen lost it at the line. Bolger steps up on him. Couldn't knock the puck by him, though. Jokinen will play it back in. Gonchar going after it. Moved it away before Ribeiro could catch him. As Nathan Bolger will slide it ahead for Pacioretty. Took a hit on the play from Smith. Out of the net is Hutton to work it around the boards, and it's stopped by Forsberg. Weber now sends it across for Smith, and he'll hand it off to Mike Ribeiro. Ribeiro trying to get by Markov. Markov, though, swings it over to Subban. Now back ahead, and it's the catch off to Lars Heller. Heller gains the line, drops for Prost, and that's the catch going to the net. Didn't see the puck coming. Forsberg was right there. A nice back check by Philip Forsberg. He might have saved the goal there. Turnover. Forsberg skating it in with the play blowing down at the Montreal line. What a chance that was for Philip Forsberg. Well, Timor against Team Cherry in the CHL Top Prospects game. Coming your way Thursday, 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on Sportsnet. Look out for assistant coaches Nick Kiprios and Doug McLean, along with Connor McDavid and all the other top draft eligible prospects. Always fun to see the top prospects play the future stars of the game and should be a lot of fun watching those young stars go head to head. PK Subban catching a bit of a break there as now it's Wilson and he'll hand it off and it's flipped in by James Neal. Fisher goes after Subban to the corner comes back around and Victor Bartley will work it for Wilson. Up for Seth Jones. Jones swings it down low. Subban trying to get to it. Neal in there as well. Fisher all tangled up on the play. James Neal being worked over by Markov. Gallagher comes up with a loose puck. He'll get it ahead to Galchenyuk. Galchenyuk in over the line. Dernay going to the net. But his pass was blocked by Jones. Gallagher on the back check. Prevents Fisher from moving it in the Montreal end. And Alexei Yemelin is on it. Slides it over to Gilbert. Now back for Yemelin. Up on the wing. Thomas after the puck. Christian Thomas throws it on net. Hutton the save with Manny Malhotra going to the goal, but he was tangled up. Couldn't get to it. What a smart play by Christian Thomas. Doesn't have much of an angle, but he does a smart thing. Throw it at the net, especially when you have a middle ice drive like he had there. And Christian Thomas, look at the speed. Get to that loose puck and just throw it at the pads of Hutton and he, that's a nice rebound that pops out in front and earlier Seth Jones has made a couple nice defensive plays making another one there on Alex Galchenyuk he's had a real strong game tonight for the National Predators 34-21 the shots in favor of Nashville but it's a 1-1 game Buck shot off the glass and that one ends up back in the Canadian zone Price out of the net and he'll play it Knocked down by Kostak. Gilbert had to loop the goal to go after it. Volchenkov coming in trying to poke it free, but Manny Malhotra is there and he'll swipe it out. Nystrom feeds it across for Ekholm and it's dumped back in. Price will stop it. Played across for Thomas. Now it is poked out by Malhotra. Gilbert back on the puck. Takes his time and he'll hand it off for Yemel and now back to Gilbert. A good shot down into the Predators end. That went off the Nashville stick, so no icing. We sit on the forecheck, but it's played ahead, and there's Matt Cullen with it. Handing it off. Cullen fires off the shoulder of Price, and he'll send that over the glass. Head out of play, standing up to that shot. Nice job by Carey Price deflecting that puck out into the stands. And tonight, Two of the most consistent teams in NHL as of late, the Canadians and the Predators with those great records. Unfortunately, someone's going to have to lose tonight, but the Canadians with that great record in the last 15 games, but so too with the Nashville Predators. They've both been very consistent hockey teams all season long, and especially in the last 15 games. Thomas Plakenitz and Mike Ribeiro for the draw. Ribeiro trying to get the foot over the line, but it comes back. Plakanitz rolled it around the net. Bolger going after it, but it's Forsberg there. Down low to Smith. Back in front to Forsberg. Knocked off his stick. 
Thomas Plakanich trying to flip it ahead for Pacioretty, but he ran into Shea Weber. Weber's got the puck, and he'll float it out. Dodger, back to Weiss, and he'll dump it in. Hutton slowed it down, back in the net. Pacioretty going after it. Ribeiro stops, trying to spin away as he'll hand it off for Smith, and Craig Smith will play it ahead. Here's Forsberg, can't handle it. Plakanich swiped it out. And Plakanich runs over Forsberg at the line. Play blowing down, the two of them were in quite the tangled position. <laughs> As Placanic still down on one knee. As he just catching his breath here. He's, he's been pretty busy tonight with the Canadians. Another strong game as well. And I mentioned Placanic's moving on to that top line. And tonight he's had a couple great chances. Such a smart player. Just defensively one of the most underrated players in the league. And every, anytime I look at Placanic, I always see him as a selkie type candidate and tonight and, and 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 this year it's no different he's been he's been a great two-way player for the Canadians. Subban to press for Eller with the shot and Hutton's got it. Jammed that arm against his body had a quick look behind him but it wasn't in. Wasn't sure if he had that puck completely and you're right he did take an extra look behind him after he makes this save and it happens in the neutral zone quick little chip off the boards to Eller. Eller shooting the puck in stride. It's those quick shots that can sometimes catch goaltenders off guard, and Eller doing a nice job of releasing that puck in stride and almost fooled Hutton. Ekholm comes up with it. He'll bank it off the boards. Prust knocked it down. Brandon Prust trying to throw it out front. Eller was there at the side of the net, but it's Ekholm that'll skate it out for Nashville. And he got off to Ole Jokin and trying to dump it in off the leg of Markov. Eller slides it over to Sakac. Yevgeny Sakac got by Gostet. Now runs into Seth Jones. Brandon pressed in to help out. Feeds it to the line. Gilbert with a shot, and it was knocked down in front by Ekholm. Nystrom stood up by Yemelin, but he'll play it into the Canadian zone. Gilbert swings it around. Sakac is there waiting for it. Tried to tip it out. Fisher got a piece of it. Prust will hand it over to Yemelin. And he'll lift it back into the Nashville zone. And they're going to call that icing. And they'll bring it back to the Canadian zone. Well, uh, Sportsnet Central coming up after the game. And with a little preview of what to expect, here's Kenneth Amanka. Things getting feisty in the Battle of Pennsylvania, as things do there. And what's the countdown tonight? Uh, can you repeat that? What's the countdown tonight? Can you repeat that? Oh, you're witty. We'll see you after the game. Well, thank you very much. And that is following the game. So I have all the news from the sporting world today. Here's Wilson trying to get it across for Neal. Throws it back on that. Price will stand up to that one. And he hangs on. Should get interesting here in the last few minutes. You'd have to think both teams here are going to make a push. Last game before the All-Star break. Normally, sometimes it's almost like that Christmas break. Some some players kind of check out for that last game, but for the most parts, at least for the Canadians in the last part of this hockey game, they've really picked up the pace. The Predators have had a strong game so far from start to finish. Benny Moholtra tied up off the draw. Cullen trying to get it out. It's dumped in by Yossi. Subban going after it. Played up on the wing. Pacioretty trying to knock it down. And the puck comes out. Bork will deflect it in. Subban is on it. P.K. Subban lifts it off the glass. Pacioretty knocks it ahead. Dale Weiss picks it up. Blakanitz going to the net. Weiss with a shot. Hutton the save. Blakanitz feeds Markov. Andre Markov off the boards. Plakanitz there to get it. Trying to get away from Yossi. He'll hand it back to Max Pacioretty. Tipped away to Dale Weiss. Weiss waiting on it. Goes off the boards for Markov. Markov towards the net. Kicked wide by Matt Cullen. And the Predators get it out as Weiss then takes a run at Yarncroke and then nearly ran into the Nashville bench. And that'll get a bit of a shelling match. Meanwhile, Cullen comes in and falls as he'll dump it in. And Cullen just tripped over the blue line. It's a bad feeling. Here's Seth Jones up with it. Jones played it for Smith. Across to Ribeiro. Ribeiro getting in with room. Waiting. Price out of the net. Ribeiro threw it back to the crease.
Price, and it comes up to Plus the other way. Brandon Plus on the attack, going to the net with a shot, Hutton the save, and he'll hold on as Eller and Sakach are headed to the goal. Couple and then chances for both the Predators and the Canadians. And right here at the bench, it was a hit earlier that started all this, and Dale Weiss comes across and gets a big hit on Yarncroke. Gets into a little bit with the Predators on their bench. And Dale Weiss been feisty in this third period, and some smart plays as well. Weiss has made some real nice plays tonight, just getting pucks. But earlier here, Ribeiro, it's a little drag and, and pull move, and watch Eller collapse to the front of the net and makes a nice play, and then off to the races, the Canadians go on their own three-on-one. 104 to go in the third, a 1-1 game. And they're gonna do the draw all over again. 11-8 are the shots favoring the Canadians here in the third. Jokinen going after it for the Predators. Hamlin pinching in, got it for Brendan Gallagher. Gallagher trying to get away from Yossi. Gallagher spinning, can't get to the front of the net. And it's batted up the boards, Jokin into the line, and that is out. Yemelin is on it, they'll turn and dump it back in. The Canadians clear the zone. Shea Weber will lift it out, stopped by Gilbert. Dejarne is there, across to Galchenyuk. Galchenyuk brings it in, throws it on net, and Carter Hutton has got it as Gallagher was going right to the goal. Montreal Canadiens Hockey on Sportsnet is presented by Rogers. Alex Galchenyuk with a goal for Montreal. Seth Jones the goal for Nashville, 1-1. Face off in the Predators zone as Blakenitz will line up against Fisher. And he won it. Markov with it. Andre Markov trying to get the puck through, but that got blocked, and it hops over the stick of Plakanitz. He and Subban have to race back for it as Colin Wilson was there. Plakanitz trying to get it over to Markov. That pass a little too far ahead. Seth Jones will bring it in. Jones works it to the corner for himself. Now try to bat it around, and it's James Neal that's on it. Neal throws it towards an end, off a stick, it'll float over the glass, and out of play with 6.1 seconds left here in the period. 6.1 seconds, of, of enough time to win a face-off and run a play here if you're the Predators. So for the Canadians, very important you win this face-off, and who do they throw over the boards? Well, you know who, it's Manny Malhotra, the best face-off man in the NHL so far this year, and for the Predators, it's gonna be Mike Fisher, and I'm surprised they're not sending Paul Gossett. He's had a great night in the draw so far for the Predators. Been almost unbeatable. Well, Holtra wins it. Subban will ring it around the glass. And it's down the ice. And no surprise, maybe, that the Predators and Canadians are once again bound for overtime. No surprise at all. Two of the stingiest teams defensively in the entire NHL. And the Predators, they're, they're the best at the league when it comes to goals against and the Canadians not too far behind that. Nashville's only given up 102 goals so far total, which tops the league in Montreal third with just 105. Well, obviously, big reason is the goaltending, but both very structured teams as well. Well, here's how we ended up in overtime tonight with a look at the two goals in this game. It starts in the second period on the goal by Seth Jones. It all happens that Carey Price loses his stick here, and Seth Jones just blasts it from the point, and Price wasn't completely set for that shot as Jones blasts it to the top corner. And then in the third period, it's David DeHarnay who finds P.K. Subban at the point, and it's a slap pass, and Galchenyuk tips that through the legs of Carter Hutton. And there's a look at the goal scorers in this one. Who will be the hero tonight? Five of the past ten games between these two teams have gone to overtime, two of them to a shootout. So that is why it is not really a surprise that it'll be six times now in the past 11. Overtime is needed 
to decide it. And there is the man that had the game-winning goal the last meeting between these two teams, December 21st in Nashville, a 4-3 win for the Canadians. David Dernay had the winner there, and he scored that goal against Carter Hutton, who came in in relief that night for the Predators. David DeArnay back at his usual center ice position was over on the left side for a brief time and if you ask David DeArnay he prefers playing down the middle and I really believe since going back to the center ice position you look at his winger Galchenyuk he's picked up his game Gallagher on the right side has been dangerous and he's a pass first type of guy and Galchenyuk's looked real dangerous so far tonight, and DeHarnay a big part of that. And of course, we should mention, of course, that was 2013 in December. The goal, the Predators 4-1 and in overtime this year. Seven other games have gone beyond overtime to the shootout. The Canadians 1-2 and two in overtime with six other games headed to the shootout. So they have scraped down the ice with the shovels. And four on four hockey ready to go as they've switched ends as well. Shots 12 8 in favor of Montreal in the third. 36 25 Nashville through regulation. And it will be Placanitz and Pacioretty up front. Suman and Markov on the blue line for Montreal. Predators throwing out Mike Fisher and James Neal up front with Yossi and Weber on the back end. And overtime underway as Pacioretty comes up with a puck. Pacioretty dancing his way in, going to the net, and can't get a shot away. Roman Yossi slides it back ahead, and it's James Neal trying to tip it by Marka. Sometimes you like the overtimes at cross-conference games because that extra point is not one you'll give up. It's just one you want to earn on your own side of the ledger. Here's Subban with it. P.K. Subban. Into the predator zone, Suman across to Plakanitz and hopped over his stick. He'll send it down low. Shea Weber turned it over to Pacioretty. Plakanitz to Suman, far and wide. What a chance for PK Suman and the game there. He had the game on his stick and just blasts that slapper wide. Long pass for Pacioretty. He has to bat it back to the Canadian zone as Price will leave it for Suman. Suman hooked by Rapero, trying to fight him off. Subban still in the battle, but he won't get the call as Markov is on it. Andre Markov hands it up for Subban. Up off the boards and down into the Predators' end. Seth Jones on the puck. Gallagher giving chase. Hands it up for Ekholm. Ekholm feeds it over to Forsberg. Philip Forsberg checks up. Now tries to make a play with it. Lost it off his stick. Dernay is there to get it. He'll turn in the corner, handing it off to Gallagher, who slides it out. Seth Jones back on it. Little spin to escape Dearnay. Here's Seth Jones with it. Dropping for Ribeiro. Trying to throw it in front of Conchar. Blocked it. Nathan Bollier on the puck trying to win the battle on the boards. He'll tip it to the line. Forsberg stopped it. Gallagher in to help out and Brendan Gallagher has got it. Gallagher got to the Predators line where he stopped and Dearnay was there to get the puck. Heading it off for Conchar. Nathan Bollier. Hit by Forsberg and knocked down. Galchenyuk up with it. Alex Galchenyuk hands it up for Bollier. Bollier being pressured by Smith. Lost it at the line. Here's Smith with a chance and he shot it wide as Bollier was diving back. Colin Wilson trying to feed it up high and it's Yossi that'll keep it. Wilson up with it, throwing it in front. Smith tipped it wide. Colin Wilson has got it again. Wilson pressured by Conchar. Bollier knocked it away. Comes back for Yossi, to Weber, shoot, stopped by Price, bouncing puck, Wilson trying to get to it, Bollier beat him to it, and Ethan Bollier will get it to Lars Eller, Eller's hook, penalty, coming up, and the Montreal Canadiens are going to get a power play here in overtime on the tripping call against Nashville. Are the Canadians very fortunate here because it was all Nashville Predators so far in this overtime. And earlier on, it's Nathan Beaulieu in the neutral zone. He holds on to the puck and gets smoked by Philip Forsberg. Galchenyuk does a nice job of picking up the puck and then turns the puck over at the blue line to Craig Smith. And he's going to march in here and almost end the game. Beaulieu doing a nice job of diving back. And here's the penalty. Lars Eller has the puck. And it's Smith that comes from behind and takes the feet from under Lars Eller. Smith does not like the call. 
has some words for Eller. Gives him a little shove and Eller does the right thing and just skates on by. Well, he doesn't want to negate the power play coming up in overtime here. Gostad out there for Nashville, their best face-off man against Thomas Plakan. It's four on three. And the Canadians win it. Gallagher for Subban. E.K. Subban settles it down, hands it off for Plakanitz. Plakanitz to Pacioretty. Gallagher parks in front. Plakanitz to Subban. Subban to Plakanitz fires, and that one missed the net. Roman Yossi hands it off for Shea Weber, and he'll get it off the glass and all the way down the ice. Price plays it up for Thomas Plakanitz. He'll drop it for Subban. P.K. Subban gains the line, now stops. Got it for Pacioretty, Subban over to Plakanitz. Gallagher back out in front, Subban fires, stopped by Hutton. Weber's got it and he'll clear it down the ice. Predators scramble for a change as Price will leave it for Subban. P.K. Subban plays it up for Plakanitz. Tip pass, Pacioretty dropping it for Subban. Hands it off to Gallagher in over the line. Brandon Gallagher. Runs into traffic along the boards. Ekholm trying to move it. And it got by Subban and back out. Price will hustle out of the net. Mike Fisher watching Price as he'll move it to P.K. Subban again. Subban into the Nashville zone. Drops it off along the boards. Markov has got it. Over to Dearnay. David Dearnay to Andre Markov. Markov waiting. Now got it to Subban. Back to Markov. Andre Markov. To Max Pacioretty, here's a chance, Subban with it, back for Galchenyuk, check that, here's Subban to Galchenyuk, off to Markov, to Subban, fires, scores! For now, Carl Subban, the overtime! Well, P.K. Subban has been fantastic all night long. It's on the power play where he loves that spot on the ice and Peter Laviolette not happy with the call as he's pointing right now at the officials as he exits the Bell Center ice here. And Subban congratulating his teammates as they leave the ice here. And he just loves setting up on that offside and letting that bomb go as this crowd is going nuts here as they announce the goal. And right here, it's that setup. Subban's at the top, and here's the switch. He slides over to that spot where he loves to shoot the puck from. I don't think he gets all of it. It's a partially screened shot. Just enough, as you watch right here. A couple predators away, and it's David DeHarnay in front of the net as he leaps in front. I don't think Carter Hutton saw that shot as the Montreal Canadiens celebrate a big win here tonight in the Bell Center. And you see the Predators weren't happy leaving the ice. Neither was Peter Laviolette. 11th of the year for Subban and the sixth power play marker. Three goals in the past four games as the power play strikes twice for the Canadians in this one tonight. And it's a constant spot here for Subban. He loves to set up shop, shop over here. Four of his last five power play goals have all come from this spot. He's got the great one-timer, and it was that one-timer tonight that ends the game here for the Canadians. And it's a spot where Subban loves to go, and he did it again tonight for the Canadians. Here's the three stars of the game tonight. P.K. Subban, the winner for Montreal. Carey Price outstanding in net. Once again, as the Predators had 37 shots on him, 36 saves for Price. And Seth Jones with a goal for Nashville in this one. Solid, as was their whole blue line tonight, especially in the first 40 minutes. Nashville's blue line was impressive, but it was the Canadians' blue liners, in particular P.K. Subban, that really picked things up in the latter parts of this hockey game. Canadians win it. Two to one in overtime as they'll head off to the All-Star break in a good mood. Sportsnet Central starts now.